What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Money, and welcome to our live stream here for War Robots, guys, with a lot of really awesome new content, guys. I've made three different hangars, and uh, and they all have a different purpose, okay? Let me quickly show that to you before we jump right into the action. And uh, you see here, uh, Hangar 3 is my free-for-all hangar. I have a Spectre, uh, uh, Spectre with Tulumbas, a Spectre with Orkins, a Gust Pursuer, of course, and we have two Ravens, a uh, Dust Button Raven and my, um, you know, Scourge and Spark Raven, because I think these two things are actually incredibly powerful in Free For All, and uh, you're gonna see this over the course of this video, no doubt about it, guys. The second hangar is um, Komiho with Scourge, twice, uh, then we have the... Um, Haichi with Orkins. We have a, a Spectre Shock Train, uh, a, a bit of a, you know, controversial topic. I now decided to put it in because I cannot hide from the meta forever, um, but I still don't enjoy running it so much, so I probably still run other things more than that. Um, but I have it in. Let's see. If we probably we probably see it a few times, maybe once or twice or whatever in this um, live stream. We have a, a Hydra and Chimera Inquisitor. Why not, right? We have the Scourge. Bulgazari, which kind of has to be in here because in a team deathmatch you need something strong and sturdy that doesn't go quickly and that has a good amount of range on top of that, right? And the first hangar is still kind of a fun hangar, really, as you see here when I show you this. Um, without the countdown, this are the, these are the hangars that I'm referring to, free for all team deathmatch and fun. Now, I changed... I changed it slightly so that um, a few things are not here anymore, like the Mender. We have the Mender, uh, the, the Wayland, sorry, the Mender with Scourge and Spark. We have the Haichi with Tyrants, Inquisitor with Ta uh, Avenger and and Punishers. Awesome. And then the Fun Machine times Million here, uh, the Spectre with um, with the uh, Vortex. And of course, a complete long range sucker setup here, uh, <laughs> the, uh, the Chimera on the Fury. And um, I'd like to welcome all of you guys here, all 800 people. People ready to go with me here together. That's awesome. Thanks for checking in, guys. And uh, let's just jump right into free for all, first of all, and have a ton of fun. And those who don't know, maybe uh, maybe you haven't seen it, uh, we have reached 100,000 subscribers, and I have been working the last two days straight on the 100k subscribers special and giveaway, where we will give away 200 robots, okay? So, um, but that just as a side info, we're gonna see that or more about this. Um, you know, really, really soon. So what what do, we, what do we have here? Let's see. We have an Haichi down there with Orkins. And um, we have an... Uh, what is this? I guess it's a... Is that a... Oh, wow. Okay, that's a, an unexpected setup. Something you see very rarely, though. And the Haichi is ready for me. Okay, okay. I got the Griffin. The Griffin is a very rare... You, you Normally, you don't see a Griffin running around here on, on maps like, you know, on this map. Can I kill the shield? Yep, I can. And, uh, you know, when he gets around the corner to kill me, he walks right into the, all these rockets and gets absolutely dunked on. I'm sorry, guys. He gets vaporized. That's what I mean. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that's the Orc Inspector for you. Uh, the video, the 100k special will feature... That's a useless jump, by the way. Uh, the 100k special will feature a uh, the best robot setups... Um, for, uh, the, no, the most fun robot setups that exist in War Robots. That's what they will show you guys, okay? So I'm not talking about the strongest setups, I'm talking about the most fun setups. Now, usually the most fun is also better, right? It's not fun when it's weak as hell. So, you know, they normally are pretty good as well, and they're, they're useful, strong, uh, but they don't have to be the most powerful thing. Am I? I'm having a deja vu right now. Do you guys feel the same thing that I just felt? <laughs> <laughs> what in the world? I just did the exact same thing twice against somebody. I'm not sure if that's the same person, but you see both of these things sitting right there. And there's an orc in... Oh, there's a... Oh, wow. They're all coming for me. You know, he can't... He can't actually... He can't do anything against that. Uh, maybe I force him into a stealth jump right here. That would be pretty good. If that would work. Yep. He now stealth jumped. Because he couldn't get to me. That's pretty cool. No! I needed this one jump. This one clear jump I needed. Okay, you know what? That's why. That's where the Raven comes in, by the way. I'm not sure if we're going to be fast enough to do this, but maybe we will. Yep, there it is. Boom, kill. See, that's where the Raven comes in, guys. The, the speed of the Raven is just unrivaled when it comes to kill-stealing enemies. Oh my goodness, I did not expect that. I got him, though, but uh, now I'm getting killed by the Spectre. Who, by the way, just used his stealth jump, so he's now getting killed by somebody else. 
So, um, yeah, that's a lot of get and kill links left and right. Uh-oh. All right, here we go. Once I can finally start firing here. Oh, come on, get the... Yes! Okay. Man, this guy's annoying as hell. This guy right behind me, he's literally just emptied his entire Tyrant clip on me. That sucks. But he had to use a stealth jump to follow me with a, st with a raven here. So what I'm trying to do is now empty my weapons. Uh-oh. I see the Orc Inspector jumping there. Uh, not jumping yet, but he will be in a second. And uh, the thing is... Yeah, the, uh, the Inquisitor will be jumping in two seconds. The Orc Inspector is re getting ready. Oh no, that's it. That's it for me. Yep. I jumped into the wall. I wanted to safety jump and make them really fool around with them. But unfortunately, this little corner up there really destroyed my movement right there. But, um, hey, 1,100 people already here. And, um, it's time to pull out the Spectre uh, with Tolumbas. Um, this is, by the way, also, I'm not, I don't want to give away too much of the upcoming 100k special, which will feature the top 10 most fun robots. Um, but I can tell you already that this is among the 10, because it is so versatile, so, so useful, you can do so much with this. Let's force him into a stealth jump. See, he had to jump now, simply because I got the range on him. And that's why he's dead now, because I had more range. You died because I have the range. Sorry, buddy. There you go. That's what I mean. You have 500 meters, and that will give you so many possibilities and options against other setups. There he is again. So he's probably gonna jump again. Yup, there he is. So he did the exact same thing again. Now, let's see if we have the same outcome for this match. Because it's him. It's the same person. But now he jumps down. He doesn't want to, um, you know, risk the encounter too much. So what he's now doing is walking away. He doesn't want to get the exact same result as before. Uh, and I can perfectly understand that, to be honest. So. And, uh, oh, his stealth jump was already ready. Wow. That was unexpected. I didn't see, I didn't think his stealth jump was going to be ready that quick. But he made a crucial mistake. Do you know what mistake he just made when we were both in stealth? Okay, I'm giving you a little bit of a sec, a few seconds of time to think about it. Um, before I tell you this. Um, and let's see if people get it in the comments, okay? L oh my god, they're everywhere now. Holy moly. Leave me alone. I don't want any part of you guys. Um, he fired all his rockets. Drac Vondrak said it. Yep. I, I didn't even pay attention to the screen. Uh, Drac Vondrak said it or so. Uh, he fired all his rockets. That was his mistake. If you want to go back, or, or, or maybe you have it in memory, um, what he did, we both were in stealth. I didn't fire. He fired all his rockets, which means once I got out of stealth, he, he was basically down on, on, um, on weapons. He had no further, uh, no further ammo to use. And that was his doom at this point. And uh, yeah, I, uh, I saved my rockets so that once we came out of stealth, I was able to really just kill him instantly there. All right, I did not jump yet. I want to see what it is that we have to fight with here first. An orc inspector. Uh, he seems pretty content with going to the other guy. Uh oh. All right, he's coming now. So, I jumped away. Now let's see if I can get this guy here. No, he's slightly out of range. And he's he's coming again. So, and there goes my big jump that kills the Orc Inspector immediately. See that? That's how you counter an Orc Inspector with the Raven Robot. Because of the fact that you have the ability to just jump away from his stealth jump. And that's what makes this possible for you. Maybe we can force him into a jump. Yup, he's coming. Unfortunately though, he is hitting me quite well. And I'm not sure if I can do it now, because I've suffered a lot of damage. And, uh, yup, forget it. There's somebody right behind me. Ah, he got me. He got me. I uh, I wasn't sure that it was going to be, you know, it was clear that it was some going to be somebody else. Let's use this Pursuer. I think I would have had a chance against the Inquisitor because he already used the Stealth Jump. But for this, he would have had to be a little bit less of a good shot. He would, he would have had to miss a couple of shots really good so that I could go in there and whoop him. And there you could see the strength of the Orc Inspector there for a second. The fact that this guy has the ability to um, 
to ju uh, to hit you while you're in stealth. His stealth jump will be ready in a couple of seconds again. And you can already see he's not he's got no wish to fight. He's just getting himself ready pretty much for it. And uh, I'm not in a good position right here because both of these guys have me in line of sight. I'm activating my stealth now, I'm running away. Because if I stay here, the Orc Inspector will simply jump kill me, no problem. While the uh, long range fury keeps me pinned until the rest of the, of the end of the dirt, earth. I have absolutely no chance but to jump away and run away like this. That's the only option I've got. He's gonna jump up here in, in a few seconds, I guess. But he won't get me with this. I'm ready for it, I have the carver, I'm waiting for him to do his stealth jump. And uh, I'm trying to make him, I'm trying to bait him into firing a couple of rockets. And here is the, or the, the Fury is back again. The Fury is back again, he is ready to in interfere into this co in this combat. Now, either he's gonna get killed by the Fury or by me now at this point. But he's gonna get killed by some of us. There we go, boom. I guess he didn't expect that to happen so quick. Now I know that this Fury has one Dragoon, and I have more than enough firepower to deal with him before he kills me. So uh, the, the Tridents aren't gonna help him much. I knew I could take this Brawl, okay? Even without the stealth, I knew I could take this Brawl. Wow, we still have both enemies. That's a Dock. A Dock with Tarans is coming. And I don't know what the other guy behind me has. So I'm trying to make play this safely here. Yeah, it's a dock with Tarans, and what's the other thing? I don't know. I only see the Tarans right now. Would be cool if you jumped down from here. So, there we go. Orcans, yep. Okay, sorry, my friend, man. I love the dock, I love it, but I, you don't. Re you didn't really have much of a chance there. And it seems like the dock wasn't even leveled very far. Oh, that's an Inquisitor with uh, Tarans and thing. But I have 500 meters range, so I don't have a pressure here. We have 15 seconds, 14 seconds left on the clock. Maybe we can take him on before the round ends. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, we can fire at him, but we won't be able to kill him because the match is over in two, one, and there you go. So unfortunately, you already saw a few setups that are inside the 100k subscriber special coming up real soon, guys, that will get you the most fun setups of War Robots, but um, I believe there's a lot of setups you haven't seen yet and that will be coming as a special surprise. So the first round here on Free For All, pretty good round overall. A uh, nice round also Darek Vondrak said. You know, why is it your name always? I look, I pay, one, pay, pay attention to the stream chat, I always see your comment. As if there was like a special color to it. Stop Nightbot, Brock. Reutling says, apparently the nightbot, uh, nightbot is causing troubles again. Bad Nightbot, behave. You're not set up to uh, to be annoying. <laughs> you guys, you just need to make sure not to use too many emotes, too many capital letters, and too many si symbols, okay? And then you're pretty much good. And don't write too many messages at once. We have Team Deathmatch. That is the second hangar now. We're, we're gonna start off with the... Uh, yeah, let's start with the Inquisitor and... This. You see the Fury over there with his Tempest? Oh man, I know someone who's gonna not have a really good day today, uh, now, on this map. Once I get in range, which is 600 meters, then I can really, um, you know, just ruin his day a little bit there. I'm in cover right now, he can't hit me. Uh, now he does a little bit, but it's not really that bad. And we have a Tolumba Spectre coming up. So now I'm sending the rockets to the other side. And I'm trying to look for cover because they have 500 meters shock train range and 500 meters RDB range. And he's jumping. He wants to get in RDB range. You see him jumping there now. This is now a really good target for me. Uh, this, um, this Spectre that just jumped. If I can get him in line... Oh no, he's too far away. Okay, never mind. Um, but yeah, this is, this is how you play Team Deathmatch. You play it very carefully. And you try to avoid situations in which you can't do much. <clears throat> Alright, we're still in stealth, thankfully. I fired a few rockets here at this guy uh, with his, uh, you know, shock train. But the thing is, I'm pinned. We have too many shock train enemies coming up. This guy had just used his rockets. So, oh no, no, I, I screwed up. 
I screwed up there, big time. So hopefully I can hit him before his thing, thing activates. So, activating my stealth jump because I realized that this guy was coming up. Yeah, and there he is. He's hitting me. He wants to hit me now. All right, I need to get him quick before he reloads too many shots. Nice, there you go. And I still have this guy threatening me the whole freaking time. And that's my problem. This guy with his stupid shock train. I hate you, go away. Take somebody else's target for the love of God. You know what? It's enough with you, man. I'm gonna fire at you now. Although he just went into this thing. Uh oh. Ah, right. ha ha ha! He activated his uh, his uh, his stealth mode. You know what? Now I can choose what I get killed by. Either I get killed by him or by him. Oh well. You know what? Now we're gonna actually go into this setup because he just activated his stealth jump, a uh, stealth mode, which means I can do this to him right now. Boom! Right? That's what I can do now, thanks to the fact that he has used his um his stealth in the previous attempt to kill me. So that's 600 meters away. My team is losing this right now pretty bad. What? What? Wait, what? I killed the Spectre by chain. Oh, man. Uh, sorry, the, uh, the, uh, the Pursuer. I killed the Pursuer with a chain from the Bulgazari. Oh, man. That's, that, that must have been quite a sucker for this guy. Holy moly. I don't think he expected that. And I personally expected... I didn't expect it either. And I'm trying to play careful because it's Team Deathmatch, right? Uh, playing careful is what you should be doing here. Even if it looks a little bit less fun. Come on. Oh, no. If I just... It, if I would have just gotten him slightly better there, I would have been able to do something. No! Oh, I was just firing. I was... I actually even fired. I hit the button. He activated his stealth the exact split second before I was able to use to make use of my my own jump. Meanwhile, my team is losing it more than you can ever imagine. And this guy has clearly nothing, no other targets but me here. I got the uh, Spectre Shock Train, but I got hit by the same guy as well. Now, this guy with his Inquisitor is probably about to jump at me in a second. I would assume that's what he's gonna do. Yup, there it is. Alright. Just trying to look like I'm busy. So I can do this. Ah! Did you see that? Did you see how he baited me? Son of a... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Is that the same person? Has he just crossed five, 250 meters with one sec... A uh, dash, wow. He, um, he, played, he played very well. Amazing play from this guy. He baited me into firing my weapon, and then he double dashed when I really just were occupied doing something for a split second there. Alright, man. I don't think we have much of a chance here in this match anymore. We have a Spectre with... Uh, something right there. But I, I need to change. There's no way in, uh, in winning this anymore with this. Let's try and see if we can do something uh, with this. It's, the enemy team is so is so much more powerful than mine right now. It's uh, it's a real hard thing to stay alive here. Wow, I'm spawning on my base and I'm being surrounded and triple quadro attacked by three or four people at the same time. I'm spawning surrounded pretty much in my base. That certainly shows you what kind of out what what teams we currently have. When you can spawn in such problems like this. Ah, oh, dang it. Alright. Uh, what do we have here? The, uh, oh, I, I know what we have. Let's attack this guy. Maybe we can do some good damage here. And the Orkin, Orkin Haichi is back. I have no choice but to sit behind this corner and take all the damage from the other enemies. So we're hopefully gonna be successful in killing him. Nope, he's gonna be successful. Oh my God, I'm, I'm so outnumbered. 
in my base. I'm outnumbered. This is so crazy. Holy... I'm literally in a four-on-one right in my base. Wow, this is insane. All right, let's last bot here. Oh, God. I spawn dead. It's a dead spawn. Spawn in the middle of the open. Four people around you. Wow. I'm, I want to see if this was a, a, a platoon. Because they these guys have not killed us. They just deleted our team from the game. They destroyed us so much, they deleted us completely from the game. That's what it feels, it feels like. That was not a normal defeat. That was deletion, what they have just done with us here, guys. It's like they, it's like they played with 12 people and we're twice as many people as we are. <laughs> 9 versus 21. And I was in the team with 9 people. I don't know how many I killed, but I think I did a, uh, a good amount of damage altogether. We're gonna see. Crazy match. So, let's kill the last guy. I don't know how the last guy can possibly have that many robots still. 10.22. Are we finally able uh, to see the end result? I can't wait to see this. Uh, they all have a certain clan tag. So I think four of those were in one clan. And, um, yeah. <clears throat> India clan. Vinit uh, Alavat says that, if I read that right. And, yup, five out of six people were in one clan. Okay, and my 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 hangar isn't really made to be super brawling uber damage It's more like a, a long-range support hangar for team deathmatch and these guys have absolutely destroyed our team But that's what it often looks like when you have a full platoon in the enemy side and full random players on the other side, right? Let's do another free-for-all and then uh, another um, What's it called? Help me out another random match. Oh, yeah free-for-all here on um on Rome. That's good. I'm starting with a Pursuer, but I usually wait until two people are in. Because I know exactly where I'm gonna spawn if I... Uh, I'm at the corner of this thing here. There, that's where I am. And uh, I'm activating my stealth right away. Now the Orc Inspector is gonna come jumping. There it is. And I'm trying to sneak that kill. Unfortunately, not very successful here. But he should be out of rockets now and I can kill him. Nice, okay. So, although I didn't get both kills, I got one of them, and I was able to survive this with a relatively good amount of health. Not a bad start for this little Gust Pursuer. And there would have been a chance, there would have been a slight chance for me to catch the kill against the Hai Chi too. So that could have worked, right? Uh, it is, of course, not a Garand or something, but it could have worked. So, you're gonna either dash away or you get whooped. And he's dashing away and he's getting whooped, but not by me. Oh, I get the kill. Nice. Uh-oh. His Ember hopefully is reloading now. His Taran seem to be reloading. Can I do it? Yes, we can. Boom! Oh, wow. Really? Really? Hydra and free for all. Oh, man. I must have been annoying to this guy because he jumped into his death with Hydras. My kill. But the thing is, now he's got stealth and I just... I can't move. I can't move! I just need to get in cover real quick. It, I was stuck so long at this wall. Ah, dang it. I didn't get it. And now I'm dead as well. Damn it, damn it. Damn it. No! Alright, alright. Let's go for this thing here. Alright, killing that Bulgazari real quick. There we go. I got a good amount of damage, but the Raven can take some damage, right? Uh, the Raven is not a weak thing. It's not a weakling. It's not a, a pansy. <laughs> it can take a good amount of hits before it dies. I think we can splash him around the corner right there. And yes, we were. I don't know why he was uh, why he just, just sitting there. Boom. Surprise jump. Slightly towards it. Did you see it? We were at 330 meters range. Ow! Something hit me in my flank. I have too long time now. Nah. My stealth jump took three seconds too long. So we have our own Spectre now with Orkins. 
This, by the way, here is the high-end Champions League. The highest possible end in the Champions League. This is what people are running around with. Um, if they want to be as strong as they can. They run this. And they run it more than once. He's gonna dash. Rup, there it is. He's gonna dash again. There it is, and now I got him. Alright, I wait I was waiting for the second dash. Nice kill. That was a quick one. And he's walking away, that means he has no stealth anymore. He wouldn't have walked away if his stealth would have been ready. We have something following us. We're clearing the entire freaking map. No matter where we go, where we go, they die. <laughs> this is how it goes right now. Crazy. And we have two enemies following us. Both with Haichis. And we have a shock train Bulgazari too. And I think he probably wants us, but we get killed by all of them. All four were completely just occupied with us at this point. So, scourging the heck out of this guy. There we go. Oh no, I don't want to get hit by that shock train again, so I make a, a safety jump into the other direction. And yet, now I'm getting killed. Do I get him? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh! Wow, that was close, man. No, he got me. Oh man, okay. That was unlucky. Let's start with this thing here. That should be enough to kill him, I think. Yep. And it was. Nice. So let's get in safety here. RD, the, the RDB Spectre. Real awesome monster. Let's activate his stealth. No. Wait, what? He just fired at me and he didn't do any damage? That's a rare thing to happen. He's... Oh no, the shock train killed him somehow. Oh man, somebody... Somebody manages to get to sneak the kill away. So we have a Spectre and a Gust Pursuer. Both of them are attacking each other right now. And uh, one of them died already. Wow. That, that Spectre safety jump wasn't very good, I can tell. Alright, so... We have this guy walking out there. Now, I know that he's gonna come for me. He, his, you need to know one thing. The Gust Pursuer stealth outlasts mine. So he's he's got a stealth that goes for ten sec uh, uh, is four or five seconds longer than my own st uh, stealth. See that? Now he's down to very low HP, but we see the Haichi coming. Yeah, and the Haichi got him. Nice. And uh, thankfully, the Gust Pursuer just took out the energy shield on the Haichi, which is a very nice thing. I'm saving my rockets, so I can make every single one count. Like that. Boom. The Gus Pursuer is back. He activated his stealth already, which is great for me. But he's very fast. And I'm not sure if I can run away fast enough from him. Oh boy, this is... Oh man, he just suffered some major damage. So... Alright, there we go. Getting him. Clear kill. Now let's make his stealth jump. There we go. Nice. That's exactly what I wanted. With these remaining two or three rockets, the only thing I wanted to do was release his jump. So that he's no longer in the advantage with his stealth jump. And uh, we're gonna kill him now. He has very little chance now. Because the RDB, although, um, you know, a lot, a lot less... Um, I'm not sure how far away he is. Uh oh. Oh, he's already ready. Wow. Great job, dude. Great job. Now, we should be able to out-damage him. First off, we have no lock-on time, as he does. And secondly, we can actually do a little bit more damage than he does with his shock trains. Uh, because the Spectre is very vulnerable and very quickly killed. 16 kills, and it seems like there's nothing spawning in anymore. Wonderful. Nightbot, who are you? Shark kills says that. Nightbot is a, an automated bot. Just taking care that nobody uses too many capital letters and stuff in the stream chat. 1,800 viewers right now on our uh, on our YouTube stream. Isn't that wonderful? Nice, you guys... Oh, excuse me. Uh, it's so nice that you guys made made it to my channel here. And if you don't know me yet or you don't know my content, then um, I'd like to ask you to subscribe to the channel if you like what you see. 
because uh, we're doing a ton of stuff. And the next days will be a huge giveaway where we're gonna give away 200 robots on my channel only here as a 100,000 subs uh, subscribers special. So if you haven't yet subscribed, that would be an awesome moment to do that. <laughs> hey Manny, Phantom Gaming says, hey dude, how's it going? Love you Manny, Fa uh, Fat Gamer says, but fat with P-H-A-T. Awesome name, dude. Cyrus Grimson, get him, he says. That's right, we're gonna get him. So we have King of the Hill, which, by the way, in my opinion, King of the Hill pops up in like 7 out of 10 cases. That's King of the Hill. It just, it's weird. I had last, recently I had a session where I played 16 matches and 11 of them were King of the Hill. 11 of them. You, this is so insane. 11 matches King of the Hill from 16. And, and it just so happens that I just don't like King of the Hill very much. Which is uh, an unlucky uh, coincidence for me, of course. So, let's jump in there. Can we jump in? Oh, no, we can't jump in. We can only jump up. Huh. That sucks. Well, let's hold this position. Because why not, right? Maybe this guy walks in here. This is such a weird spot to be. <laughs> I don't know why and how I can st you know, stay here, but it's certainly fun to see that. Oh, this is the the, the next next beacon. Let me let me get lo loose here from this position. All right, so they're coming all. They're all coming now. This is probably something with Orkins, isn't it? Yep. An Orkin Haichi. Uh, taken out now. Taken out now. Yeah, that's right. Oh, come on, come on. Die, 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 die. Ah! I dropped the shield and he's got one HP below the shield, but it was enough to uh, survive the hit. Yep, I want it to be right here. So I can kill this dude. And uh, he took care of this. That's nice. And oh, there is something right there. Hold on. I think I can actually shoot through here. If I just go a few meters forward. Yeah, but the thing is, he realizes it and he fires back at me. An RDB Spectre is jumping at us. Uh-oh. You saw what was coming, right? Some massive rockets coming in. And uh, I didn't want to get hit by these rockets. And there's going to be more coming. Yep, here it is. So what I do now, I stick to the wall. Okay, uh, he's got more range than I do. Uh, I want to stick to the wall so that I don't get too much damage from this. It's a Rhino, so we should be able to grill and kill him super quick. Like this. Grill and kill! Sounds like a game mode. <laughs> grill and kill. RDB Spectre jumping again, but he's just not having it with his jumps. I don't know, man. You just need to practice these jumps a little bit more, buddy. Yeah, you, you won't get me. What is wrong with these guys? You should know that you won't be getting me, even if you do jump up. Let's, let's annoy him a little bit here. Corner shooting. Like that. Alright, and kill him. Because he's going to be reloading in a second now. And the RDB is jumping up again. I know, man. It sucks, doesn't it? Sucks never to be able to kill anything. This guy will be able to kill me, though. And I took the Spectre Shock Train away. Nice. Oh, deal damage, deal damage. Yeah, come on. Ugh. Yo, okay. Time to jump into our most fun bot, the Spectre with Vortex. We had a donation popping in. Relic 07. What is the best heavy weapon for the Orc and Taran Bull Inquisitor? Exodus. I think the Inquisitor runs best with the Exodus and uh, the uh, Orcans. That's, in my opinion, the best Inquisitor you can do. Um, but there is also the, uh, as you, you just saw one, that is also working really well. Uh, the Avenger and and thing. What is this around the corner there? It's a Griffin. Wow. Oh, boom! That that's that's a Griffin hit right there. He's gonna jump in a few seconds, I suppose. No, he's not. No, yet he is. I was all, uh, on purpose. I only fired one or two of my rockets so that I can kill him once I come out. And of course, I'm ready here for 
for his stealth drop. Hopefully his stealth drops soon, then I can kill him. Yep, there it is. And... Ah, uh, that was just a lot of damage, but not a kill. Dang it. But this guy takes care of it. Whoa, there's a donation popping in. Hold on a second. I'm Yellow Snow again. Oh my goodness, hold on. Give me a second, guys. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, wow, that was zero damage. I'm still gonna comment with boom, 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 though. Uh, what was that? I am Yellow Snow donated $15, man. Thank you so much, buddy. That is so awesome. So much appreciated, bro. And it's nice to see your name again. I think the last two th two streams or so, you were probably busy with something. I didn't see you then. Let's let's take down this Inquisitor, uh, this Lancelot here. Boom, boom, boom. See this Lancelot losing half of his HP? Pretty much immediately. Alright, there we go. Uh, he's doing some damage to me, but he's getting killed in the side in the meantime. So, while I was kind of lo losing a lot of health here, I think it had a, it had a purpose. Because we, we didn't just sacrifice. Uh, we actually made some use out of that damage we took. What is coming up there? It's an Inquisitor with Orcans. Okay. And he's very uh, difficult. Uh, he's very defensive right now. Let's see if I can kill him. Boom! That's right. And that's what I like about this. You can be so tricky with it. He thought he's going to regenerate his stealth jump in all in, in, in all its time. He's just going to take it slow and safety. And all of a sudden... <laughs> death. <laughs> that's what it is. That's what I like about this one. And this setup in particular. Oh, man. I did get him a little bit. But only a little bit. Let's wait for the Inquisitor to come out of his stealth jump. Oh, uh, no. I could not I could not lock on to something. I wanted to lock on to something so I can kill him the second he comes out of stealth. But that's not now going to be done by my friends here. Oh, well, actually, you know what? I got him. I only used two of my weapons because I thought... Eh, I knew that was not gonna work. Look, I can, I can, I can literally sit ne right next to me. And he doesn't even pay attention because he's so busy fighting our entire team here. This time we didn't get him though. The shock train did. Is he gonna respawn with something? I better hide, not to be in the middle of the action right when he spawns. Manny, try the Leo uh, Leo Dragoon Magnums or Gecko Mark II, please, to do it. I'm telling. Uh, yo, I, the, the thing with the Leo is we can run this from time to time. The thing with the Leo is it's... Um, how do I say it? It's slow. It's so slow. And that's what the that's the death of the Leo. I think that the older bots need a little bit of an extra love by our developers here and uh, and some, some upgrading. For example, okay, you could give the Leo something... Uh, 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 like a rush ability, so he can move a little bit faster for a short amount of time. Or, alternatively, you let him burrow, like, build himself into a, a you know, chunk of armor, where pretty much, um... What are we gonna run here? Let's run this! Um, yeah, let's run this. Um, so he can basically shield himself from all damage for a certain amount of time. Let's say, maybe for five seconds, he's gonna be pretty much invincible. Do I see that right? That the enemy team has, like, four... Uh, four setups with, um, what is it called? Uh, here, the, you know, the big weapon there, the trebuchet. They have four trebuchets. That's insane. I think I'm gonna get hit quite a lot from here now. So far, I'm, you know, three or four trebuchet setups they are running. Holy crap. I thought I was gonna be the long-range dude now. I didn't think they were gonna do that, though. So I need to advance on the position here so I can eventually get in range to attack some of these guys. Because I only have 600 meters range here. And I'm getting hit by this guy? No, he's not. Okay. Okay, there is... Uh, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hide now here. Man, this is an incredibly crazy match. Look at him walking up with his shield the whole freaking time. So he's probably holding his shield in now. But I'm bypassing his shield, like that, see? I'm bypassing his shield completely, or not completely, by a good amount though, because I kind of send the rockets all flying to the left side. He's got shock train, it seems. Damn it! My rockets, I, I aim too far sideways. Again! I lost the target, I'm well within my targeting. 
I'm well within the targeting and it still aims the wrong way. Ah, I hate it. Even if you go like, you see, you're already losing your, tr your target so early. Wow, there's an army of enemies coming up here from behind. And this guy is still coming for me, but he's now being hit. Hit. I get some set uh, some backup, which is awesome. Oh, thank God! I thought he was gonna walk up to me the whole freaking time and just take me on. All right, there we got him. Nice. So now these guys are coming. We are in beacon control, although we haven't yet done very much. It seems like we have really upset the entire enemy team, because they're running in a very weird way now, making sure to get us no matter what they do. Look. I'm just trying to deal some damage to this Kamiho. And I got him. Nice. And right when we, this guy would have killed me. Oh, I'm getting some Dragoon hits from the side. Oh, boy. It seems like this guy wants the Spectre, though. Yeah, he's pretty... He's, he wants the Spectre killed. Nice. Alright, you know what? When something is in range to hit me with Dragoons, then that means I can hit them back. Because I have the same range as Dragoons do. So, there is something, there's an Inquisitor. He's gonna jump in two, one, now. See? He had no other choice. Otherwise, he would have taken all the damage from these rockets. Uh, it's quite an interesting, funny setup here to run these, the Chimera. But the Chimera is, uh, is a tough setup to use very well. Because you have the problem that uh, many robots are uh, safe from your fire. Physical shields, energy shields, right? Um, and then, you know, stealth is also another factor that destroys your performance on this setup. And I think it's time to switch into something more useful for our team. Because I have to uh, accept the fact that my Chimera won't win our match. Won won't win this match for us. Let's try to take the center beacon together with our team here. We have a healing robot that we can use to make uh, good use of. Either tank away a lot of damage or alternatively heal our friends which is something I like to do dealing some damage at long range here uh, that Haichi is getting killed I wanted to heal the Haichi but unfortunately I don't think I have a chance to do that what kind of weird crazy setup is this storm so there we go now we're running the uh, the full absorption. Right now we're absorbing all the damage coming in by this guy. We are through his physical shield. And um, yeah, he's he's very confused now why he didn't kill us so quick. The reason is, uh-oh. No, I need to shield him. I need to shield him and heal up. Heal, heal, heal. Nice. Both Haichis next to me get healed up right now. Yep. Both of them are receiving heal and the Inquisitor is almost dead now. Uh, sorry, not the Inquisitor. Um, Lancelot. But you see these two Haichis? I, I can't show you the hit points anymore, but they were almost full now, or halfway. Which is pretty cool. So, we are still... Yeah, we're winning this match, it seems like. And I, I don't think it was because of our... Uh, because of our awesome uh, Chimera. But I think it was probably more because we did not go on the Chimera. There we go, dealing some massive damage to our enemies right here. And there we go. And they also do some good damage here. Our, our shield has just dropped. But they're really down now. They're getting, you know, pretty much uh, destroyed there. Snap back behind cover here. We need to pressure this Haichi, uh, this, this Inquisitor. You see this Inquisitor? He's got, he's got 350 meters range and he will jump now. Okay, there we go. Okay, he got killed. And I'm reloading. I'm not dead yet, but I might as well be, because now I'm in, in, in a position where there is very little hope for me. Enemies are coming from left and right. Even all of them are bypassing my shield. But we got the, uh, the, we got the Inquisitor still. Nice. Alright, I think we got this one in the back. What do you think, guys? 
No giveaway today, Cool Ember uh, Ender 2.0 says. No, we have no giveaway today, guys. Oh my goodness, we have another donation ca coming in from Saurab. Or, Sa yeah, Saura, Saurab. Uh, hey, Manny, congratulations to 100k. Thank you so much, my friend. $20. Holy crap, that's almost... I think that's almost half the donation goal already uh, running here, already reached. I'm unlucky that I wasn't able to get this... Um, this griff in there in time. Wow, zero damage. See, that's because this is a very weak setup that does not work. Wor a setup that is very weak against certain bots, like this, for example. I still did very little, next to no damage to him. Next to no damage done. Trying to make him miss a couple of shots so I can hopefully get him killed. My stealth jump is almost ready again. There it is. So now he's going to get a big one there. Oh, there you go. Boom! That's what I was waiting for. But did you see it? That Kumiho. It's just it's just absolutely the end boss. The Kumiho is like the end boss when you run this setup. You will never deal any point of damage to him. Oh no, not again. Oh, come on. Really? More Kumiho. Yes, of course. And I was even stuck underneath the bridge. Are they actually turning this around? No, they're not. They can't possibly be turning this around. I'm going to make sure they're not going to win this match. We're on a three versus three here. And this Kamiho they have there, this guy, he did such an amazing job in this match. He did such an amazing job in this lineup already. You can tell he pretty much uh, carried the entire enemy team already. He captured this beacon here. He's running around staying out of max range, at r out of range for us. And uh, we just can't, we just can't get him. There's no way for, for us to catch this guy. I'm trying my very hardest here to get him a little bit. Because we need to, he needs to die. He is so dangerous to let around, around free here. Because he, uh, he has a lot of damage output. Alright, so... I need to get here onto this position. And kill this guy here super quick. There we go, he's reloading his weapon now. So, and now he's getting killed. Nice, there you go. So we're getting the beacon back. These two guys are at very low health. Oh, oh no, 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 I need to get the beacon. Oh, 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 beacon cap. Don't forget to cap the beacon. I told you, I wasn't gonna give them this victory. I told you we were gonna win this. So. All right, and it's done in a few seconds. There we go, nice. Awesome match, guys. <laughs> I'm glad we were able to pull it around, or turn it around. But they would have won this. This Kamiho player played very well with his last Kamiho right there. 600 meters range. Interesting Inquisitor build, Becky Jackson says. Yeah, it's a it's an absolute awesome machine. It's so much fun to play. Only at, like, okay, the Kamiho is such a small and fast target. It's hard to hit with these um, uh, projectile weapons. But if you run against, like, you saw the Inquisitor, uh, the Lancelot. Sorry, the Lancelot got down so quick, right? It got killed so quickly. Manny, please run the Wayland. Oh, man. Uh, sorry, I'm not gonna do another King of the Hill, uh, and, and definitely not on this map. I, uh, I, wanna, I wanna skip onto a different uh, game mode. Because King of the Hill comes up so often, I can't play it every single time. You probably see it happening. Oh, my God, the same map. Okay, you know what? The game wants us to play this map. Let's give it a chance. Let's give the map a chance. Um, I'm starting off with, um, yeah, I'm starting off with something that has a lot of brawling potential that can hopefully reach the center beacon very quickly. So, I'm not sure if we are going to be able to be faster than the Kumiho is. Oh, we have another donation popping in from Bren Walsh. Oh my goodness, hold on a second, guys. I'll be prepping my jump here. Okay, there we go. That should, that should do the trick. Oh my god, are we fast and far. Look at this. So, let's go and kill this guy. We need to cap this beacon. And this guy's pretty much dead already, look. And we got the beacon, nice. However, uh, if my team isn't fast enough and they're not, that has absolutely no meaning. Now they're gonna capture the beacon back and it's, it, as, it is as if it has never happened. So, Brand Wall. Hey Manny, loving the stream. Thank you, Bren, 
thank you so much. 20 bucks, man. Awesome. Coming out of nowhere from a friend that I, 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 whose name I already know so well. Alright, you know what? Let's redo that, right? This is domination. They cannot really spawn directly on the beacon here. Um, so we might be able to just take it again. Like this. I'm taking it. And I'm hoping I will be able to hold it as well. Trying to fight back at least. Even though I can't kill him. At least I can try to fight back a little, right? The thing is I cannot jump. I can absolutely no jump. I have to take the damage from these weapons. If I jump I get killed. And I really start to wonder if I'm the only one taking care of the center beacon right there. This is really annoying. Like, I get up there, I get killed. And this is this is why I don't want to play this map. It's... I think it's... This map is really... The gameplay is extremely dull. It's very, very dull. Uh, you, you go up there, you get killed, you take the beacon, you come back. And that's what you do five times in a row. Because... Yeah. Thankfully, my team is now sitting on the beacon. That's good. And I can start countering some of these shock train stuff thingies. Wow. My team got just obliterated in the middle. At least one of my... Uh, friends did. Do you see the uh, the fury right around the corner there? Let's try to make him uh, overthink his strategy a little bit. Wow, almost all my rockets went into the wall. Oh man. Well, that wasn't how I planned this. Yo, they have us so so pinched. They have us really pinned in right now. I mean, right now it looks like they're also uh, losing the match. But look what they're doing there. Alright, this guy had to go. That was a very important kill. And thankfully now my our friend Barracuda Russ is taking out the other dude. Awesome job, dude. Nice job, man. That was awesome. That was so important. Because this Komiho, or sorry, Bulgazari, would have been so devastating to deal with. If we hadn't been able to... Oh, that's an Orc Inspector right there. I wish I could kill him very quickly. There is an Orc Inspector too, I think. Or something. Wow, he got me full in the face. Wow, dude. And he got me so mad with this that I killed myself just here. I killed myself now because he got me so mad and triggered my buttons, my shock train buttons. He triggered them and uh, and he, I killed myself immediately for it. Oh wow, there's a lot of rocket damage coming in. I want to get this guy. Come on, die. Yes! Got him. Oh my god, what am I doing up here? No, get back down there. <laughs> Why? Why am I all of a sudden right in the middle of the of everyone's you know vision? Everyone is looking at me like, whoa! No, that's not what I wanted to be. One more shot. There we go. That should be it. Nice. Godlike. Where did that come from? Ouch! Hey man, you know what I think it just happened? This guy just took the beacon, jumped down and killed us from behind. And what is this guy doing? Whoa! Another one coming in. Charlie 2 donated 5 bucks as well. Hey man, Charlie 2, welcome aboard, dude. This is the first time I saw your name in the donation settings. I have a good memory when it comes to names and um, I, I know that you are... This is the first time that I've seen your name. So, hey, thank you, my friend. So, he's got an, uh, an Orkin... I think he's got a Spectre with... Um, with... Yep, there it is. I have to eat it, but after his jump, he's gonna be dead. So there it is. Kill. I knew I had to take the damage there. There wasn't much I could do. Uh, but you know what I wish my I wish would happen? I wish my team would start going for the beacon now. Because so far, uh, most of them, not all of them, but most of them have been doing a decent job at some point. Uh, but also, you know, uh, they're not really at pushing to the beacon. And that's the problem. You gotta push the beacon, man. Now somebody is coming for the beacon. 
All right, can I drop the shield? Maybe I can drop the shield from down here? Yeah, I can, here. It's not that helpful, but it allows my team to do some... You know, how many chalk train chains am I gonna have to take up down here? Come on. Take down the shield again. Okay, he died. Are we getting the beacon now? No, nobody is on the beacon. <sighs> I hope you're not... <laughs> It feels like if I don't do it, nobody will. That's what it feels like to me, guys. If I don't get the beacon, no one will. We have enemies coming up from down there. So he's gonna dash. No, he has no dash ready, apparently. That's great. Great news for me. Oh, I think we have a dock train. A dock train in the enemy team. Awesome. Yeah, I love the dock train, man. I don't, I'm not a fan of the shock train, but when it's used on the dock, I really th feel like it's a cool, uh, a cool setup and it's, it's not as overpowered then. So we need to take care of this Bulgazari right there. Oh no, you know what? It's already taken care of. Oh, uh, he got me with a, with a shock train, dang it. Oh, hello. I got him too. Uh-oh, he's... No, 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 he's reloaded. Oh, man. Uh, he just switched. He just switched with his, uh... With his weapons there, and uh, that, that that means no nothing good. Why is this guy getting me to the side? Come on! Dark train die, yes! Holy crap, that Lancelot got me pretty good there. Oh, man. So before I die, hopefully I can do some good damage to this guy. Yep, I am. I'm gonna die now, but you know, we took almost a full a full uh, Lancelot with us. How did we lose that beacon? Oh my god. It's driving me nuts. It's driving me nuts, dude. What is Mono Samos doing here, dude? Just walk to the beacon with your fat Lancelot. You're so slow. If you start now, maybe you arrive tomorrow, man. Just come on, go. We need to get that beacon. <clears throat> or uh, what do you think would win a specter or inquisitor the uh, specter will win usually simply because the specter has the mobility uh, and on its side the mobility is the the one the big argument that uh, you can't do much against like with this much mobility uh, he, he can force you into a you know situation where uh oh Uh oh, the Haichi is coming up. Oh, but he's busy. He's busy fighting something. Nice. All right. So you know what? I think we finally got rid of most of the enemies now. We've we've we made it. Yeah, dealing some damage to this carnage up there. Yeah, but I'm still hitting you, dude. Yeah, he's getting himself ready. Look, he's getting himself ready to attack me. And now you die, son. There you go. Bomb. We had. Drunken Escobar with 200 Indian rupees. Manny, you're cool. Respect from Moscow. What game beer you like? Oh, what German what German beer you like, he's asking. Uh, Drunken Echo Bar. Interesting question for something with the name Drunken in his name. Um, German beer, I mean Stuttgarter Hofbräu is probably something okay. But you know what? Usually I don't drink beer just like that. I usually mix it with like lemonade or with cola or something, right? I'm not... I don't like the, the pure taste of beer. No, please stay with me, guys. Don't unsubscribe. I know it's 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 terrible, but I just can't. I'm not just not a t beer guy. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not a beer person. And Cash Room, also a new name, I think, with fifteen dollars. I'm so bad at this game. I don't know how to. Oh, wait, I can read it here. I don't need to be looking at that. I'm so bad at this game. I don't know how to set up my Robo T T S. Uh, but I love watching you. Thank you, Cash Room, man. Much appreciated, buddy. And hey, just don't take it too serious, man. Just have fun. Just run some fun setups. Like, for example, this hangar here. Um, this is a fun setup hangar. You wouldn't run most of these things. Maybe the Haichi here. The Mender is quite good. But most of these things you wouldn't run if you were serious about, you know, if you want to win. Um, but it's about having fun. And that's why my 100k video special is not giving you the top 10 War Robots uh, uh, 2018. But rather the top 10 fun robot setups 2018. 
because I think that matters much more. Let's focus, L let's face it, why are we playing a game? It has only one reason, we want to be entertained, we want to have a good time, right? We don't want to win any championships, we're not gonna, you know, uh, win huge amounts of, uh, uh, you know, if, if finals or something here. But we're having fun, and that's what this is about. Fifteen dollars uh, here, super chat. Wow, that's well, that's a high super chat message right there, bro. Um, from random, donate five, fifteen super chat dollars. Uh, please live stream your account. Uh, random. Yo, the thing is, I would like to, I would, li I would leave live stream my my account. But the thing, the last time I did that, I lost 70, 50 percent of all the viewers from the live stream. I think most people want to see the new content and especially the variety. On my own account, I can only give you one hanger because that's what I have and I don't have more than that. And it's not even, you know, highly leveled. But on this account, I can give you anything you want, right? Like three full hangers. Imagine that. And I think that's a really great thing to do during a live stream, guys. And that's why I focus on this uh, during live streams because I can do so much more than just one hanger for you, right? All right, we have Team Deathmatch here, guys. Let's try to do the best we can. By the way, if you hear the music in the background, that's new music that we run now because uh, I made this uh, this this hell call for action on my channel recently where I asked you guys to help me find some good music. And, uh, oh, oh, that's a Tulumba Spectre. Now, if this guy wasn't here, I could totally attack them there. Uh oh, the Tulumba, they have two Tulumba Spectres? Oh no! Yeah, they have two Tulumba Spectres, forget it, man. Uh, I was gonna go here and th I thought I was gonna be able to kill the uh, Tulumba Spectre, but this Tulumba Spectre and this Hover protected these two. These two I would have ki killed all by myself. One on two, I would have killed both of them, the Tulumba Spectre and the, um, the Sniper. I would have killed both, but these other two were both protecting them. And, uh, and that was my demise at this point. So. I'm hoping I will be able to get back in cover before he, draw, uh, before he gets me. Because I have literally no weapon against him. He literally one-hit counters me right now. There is nothing I can do against this person. Or a Tulumba Spectre is coming in again. Now he's activating his stealth. Now he already took a weapon from me. So let's see if maybe, hopefully, we can kill him. Nope, nope. Oh my god, the entire enemy team protects them. Do you see that the enemy team has not even, not even once moved further away than the middle of the map? I have been here twice, died twice. They have never left, except for the one Bulgazari, never left the middle line. This is how you play this team, this game mode, guys. You don't play this game mode and get, do what I do here, getting killed. You play this game mode in a way that lets you survive the the, uh, the damage coming in and not get killed too much. And the way I play it right now isn't the way you do it. Because I'm taking lots of damage. Maybe I can make him shoot the wall? I would like to do that though. They're both getting ready for it. He's dropping my shield at the distance. Next to nothing I can do about it. And I saved myself. That was the only thing I could have done at this point. Because it's a 4 on 4 and I don't want to screw up this match for my team, right? If I just go forward and feed the enemy the whole time, uh, there's nothing, you know, there hasn't, there, there will be no, no benefit to that. I need to play smart like this, for example. Now I can kill somebody really quick and easily, right? That's, uh, that's how we do it in the Manny Town. <laughs> so let's see what they have there. 
A Lancelot that I can hopefully kill super quick. Yup, there he goes. Nice. This guy just uses jump. Kill him too. Nice. So, 8-6. We're making progress. Whatever this is, I think I might be able to splash around the corner there. No. There's something with shields absorbing the damage. Alright. I do, did a lot of damage to this guy, but I'm, I'm playing careful right now. I don't want to go too far and get whooped. How far can I go? That is the question. Did I kill him? No, unfortunately I didn't. But I know I have to go now, because I knew that Volgazari or whatever it was to my left was about to come. You have a... there's... If you play this game, there's a lot of um, thing with uh, with intuition. Intuition plays a big role in this game. Yeah, I re I met I, I knew there was gonna be this inquis a Bulgazari coming or something because I saw it coming to me before. I didn't know what it was, but I didn't know didn't need to know that. So, dash away when I know the last rocket is gonna take care of him. Have they taken care of him? No, they are currently taking care of that. And my problem is this this Ansel Leo. This Bulgazari is not stepping... See, do you see that? He sticks to the Ansel Leo. Because it protects him. The Ansel Shield protects him the whole time. No, you're not getting me, son. You gotta get up earlier than that. Oh, he's gonna get me, though. Yeah, that's it for me, man. I thought that was the sniper with a trebuchet. I didn't think that was gonna be this dude. Okay. Screwed up. Okay, you know what? Now we're actually going to jump into this setup here. Something that you know I'm not running too much, but once in a while, I guess I should also be running that. Boom! I killed something behind the corner and I uh, did some decent damage to him and killed him as well. There. Two easy kills, pretty much. Pretty decent one hits, pretty much, right? So I'm not sure what they have there. And that, once again, look how much damage I did to the second guy and to the first guy. He's the reason why the other dude took so much damage. Let's do this. Boom! And he already lost a weapon. Oh my god, this is so terrible. He already lost a full weapon. Boom, he stepped out one step too far. And that was more than he, more than enough. Okay, we have a Taran Haichi coming up. I can deal a lot of damage to him. I'm not sure if I can kill him immediately. Now I can kill him in one hit. Boom, there we go. See, that's the Spectre Shock Train, guys. That's how you play this. In Team Deathmatch, it will just whoop your enemies so bad. I knew that was going to be a Lancelot somehow. I, I just fired all my uh, my my Shock Trains singly, uh, like single, one after another, so that when I bypass the physical shield, the next shots will immediately do it. He wants me. Yeah, he's focusing me. <laughs> I would also focus the guy with the shock train. I would do it too. Boom! Lancelot broken. Oh, man. That, that, by the way, must have been a level 12 Mark II Lancelot because it took me two and a half shots to break the frontal shield part. Alright, let's see what we have over there. Boom! Wow, the, the damage. Look at that Lancelot who just lost like half his HP. And this Griffin is dead before he can even do something? Oh my goodness. Oh, this this is... Oh, this is... This is painful. This is really painful to do to these guys. They don't deserve to be destroyed like that, man. Oh, hello. I died. Dang it. But you know what? We have done so much damage to them. And now the last bot that is very powerful and known to be powerful in this game mode here. Team Deathmatch. Is this. Oh, we have another super chat message. Uh, hold on. I'm going to read this. From Rin Rinaldi Studio Press. Rinaldi Studio Press. Hey, Manny. Love the channel and have learned so much. 
I grinded into masters, uh, into masters, and have been thinking a lot about this. I feel, um, I feel stealth ability is ru uh, ruining the gameplay. Not shock trains. Thoughts? Well, I think personally, to to me personally, the uh, shock train is more ruining it. But also, I guess you're kind of right. The stealth ability is a is a bit bit of a dull mechanic because there's a lot of people who play only by staying stealth. They jump up, shoot with shock train, for example. And then they just h remain hidden for the rest of the for the rest of the time until their stealth is ready again. Thirty, so that's the end, and that's how many players play. And in, if you ask me, I think that's, you know, uh, it's a bit of a, yeah, a bit of a weak way to play. Let's put it like that, okay? Um, I don't want to insult every anyone, but um, I think War Robots is a is a game that wants you to go into the action and just fight, right? You're supposed to just brawl, you jump in, just brawl, 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 and have a fun, have a ton of fun, right? It's not really meant to, for you to sit back there and just, uh, you know, every 16 or 20 seconds with a stealth jump, jump up, fire once, and land, and then wait for the stealth to come back. I don't think that's the way you should play the game. It's just my opinion, right? You can agree or disagree. Well, if, you can even agree to disagree if you like. <laughs> but that's how I see it. But yeah, the stealth is uh, its a bit crazy. It's, um, it, you know, because you can, with many weapons, you can't do anything, like Scourge. You can't even you can't even gen, you know fire in the general direction. You can just you cannot even beam somewhere just for that, right? All right, we have a free for all match on Canyon. I'm not sure about this long range thing. If it's gonna if it's gonna work good, we're gonna see. All right, we have something here around the corners. Looks like an Haichi. Yup, it is an Haichi. So I, I can't fight him. He's uh, he's gonna be able to he's uh, he's got an energy shield and he's gonna be able to dash. Most of my shots. Kill. But he just came flying and let, let me kill him. Like, no problem there. I want them to attack each other, though. I would like them to attack each other. But I'm thinking that's not probably not gonna happen. Oh, I almost got the kill! Oh, wow, I almost got the kill there. Look, 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 he's got nothing left. Oh, enemy three got it for free. If we could get this guy to jump early with his stealth. Oh, yeah. He's gonna have to stealth jump. Oh, he had no stealth jump. Oh, my goodness. Sorry, bro. I know, that was kind of a sucker. It had to happen, though. Uh-oh. Yeah, he wants to get in 600 meters range. Look, he's just coming to me now. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna reload my weapons here. So I'm ready for it. Thing is that the Scourge Bulgazari coming from the right, he's probably not gonna go away. Especially since I'm number one right now. All right, we have to be tricky and fly very quickly around him like that. So we can maybe do some good damage here. Alright, I got him. Do you know why I got him? Because I jumped so far sideways ahead of him that his physical shield turn wasn't fast enough. So I would bypass his physical shield a little bit. And the second reason I got him was I stopped firing. I signified the guy, I have no further shots in my ammo. Or I have no further ammo. That's what I told him pretty much. And um, now I'm just trying to corner shoot over this thing here. And somehow he had a disconnect or so, because I was able to just kill him there easily. Wow. I did not expect that to go that wrong, uh, that well. So now we have an Haichi coming up. And I wonder where he goes. If he goes up on the plateau, or if he goes underneath the bridge. Yeah, the problem is he goes underneath the bridge now. And that's bad for me. Reverse! Haha, <laughs> you didn't think I was gonna do that, did ya? Haha! <laughs> Kill! That's right. And that's why the Raven with Spark and Sc Scourge is very powerful against High Chiefs. You could see him wait for my landing so he can finally send rockets. And suddenly my bot would do another jump into another direction. But that would make it even longer for me to, to finally land. And that totally killed him there. Uh, oh, what was that? What, what name is that? I saw something here, um... Nightmare Bandy 25 Devil says, I still hadn't sup. 
I'll later do it and turn notifications on. Awesome, dude. Thank you, my friend. So, he's coming. Oh, wow. He's still in range, huh? Um, yo, what am I doing now? I don't think... I, I'm pretty bummed right now. I don't think I can handle the, uh, the Inquisitor right there. Uh, he's coming up to me. I want to get killed by him, though. I don't want to get killed by the... Uh, by the other guy. So, he killed me, that's good, because he was the one with uh, with most of the um, points. Now, we have a Komiho coming up. The thing is, the Komiho has to now battle it out with a Inquisitor that has stealth ability active. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna lose? I don't know. Taran. Oh, the Inquisitor won. Now he's gonna dash. Okay, I got one kill. Uh, I was going, I was aiming for both kills. I wanted to get both of them, but didn't work. All right, now he ga baited me to jump. So now the question is, where is he gonna go? Is he gonna fight me, or is he gonna fight the other dude? I don't know where he's going right now, but... Yes, I got the kill! I snuck the kill! Oh my god, he defeated the Lancelot there, and uh, I'm getting the kill. I knew it was gonna happen. I saw the uh, the, the 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 guy coming up there the whole freaking time. Yeah, he was too close. I couldn't walk away from the damage. But uh, we're still first by far. I think. I don't think anyone is even remotely close to us. Oh, we have an Orc Inspector versus Orc Inspector duel. Let's see who's gonna make this. Let's go. Let's see who's gonna wait. Uh, win this Orc Inspector duel. The problem is... Oh no, it's good. I'm gonna win. Because my stealth jump lasts 0.1 second longer than his, so he's he's dead. Oh wow, that was a masterful hit by this guy here. With his aphid and vortex. That's the hover. The hover bot that came in before. He can't hit me here, I think. Nope. And now he's hopefully just dead. I shouldn't even need my stealth ability for this. Because he's got a long reload. Okay, second place is coming up, and I would like to get killed by the f by the third place, okay? So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to die to him. If I can make it happen, I'm not sure. Yes, okay. He got me. Ah, uh, now he's second, of course. <laughs> I wanted to do it that way, because this way it's better for me. He's gonna dash. He's not gonna dash, okay? Oh, now he's gonna dash, okay. And he's dead. Boom. So that's an RDB right there, an RDB uh, Raven. Interesting, funny setup. But now, about to die, pretty much. Uh-oh. I don't think I'll survive 14 seconds here. I have a donation popping in. Give me a second, guys. I need to kill him before before the Orkin, uh, the Taran dude gets me from behind. I'm sticking to the wall so he can't hit me. No! No, my rocket flew right through him. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, uh, no. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Get it, get it, get it. Yes! Haha! <laughs> it was my kill after all. I did all the damage on him. So let's read the donation we had. Oh my goodness, Jason Garcia! Whoa! Congrats, 100k subs. What's your favorite setup on Strider? Uh, keep brawling, amigo. Uh, that's awesome. Uh, uh, J Jason Garcia is also a patron of mine. And he always... Uh, his motto is pretty much, hey, keep brawling. And it's the best motto in the game. Because uh, I love to brawl. Boom! You see why? You see why right here? So what do we have here? 
Okay, it's something with a lot of damage output, and I have my stealth ready, thankfully. I should be able to get him before he gets out of range or something. He's trying to get in, uh, in safety, though, but... No, sir! <laughs> Getting in safety denied. What is this? What is he coming with? It's an Haichi with Orkans, and... Oh, the Tolumba Raven is back. I reverse and make all his rockets miss. And he's jumping at me again, which is basically the death sentence. Thank you! That's a free death for me right now, or free kill, rather. Almost free. You shouldn't have done that second jump, bro. That second jump was really... Ah, that wasn't too good. Let's be honest, it was bad, okay? You killed yourself with this jump. Uh-oh, I won't make it. I won't make it out of range in time. It's the only thing I can now is try to maintain enough health uh, and, uh, and survive long enough to activate my stealth again. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to because he's got a dash ready in two, one, right now. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I might have a chance against him here, but he's hitting me very well. No, he got me. Nice job, man. Nice job. Very well played, me lord. He got me so good with his rockets. Every rocket pretty much hit me there. Nice job, man. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to hit him again, because it's uh, only 20 seconds left on the clock. But I don't think he expects the raven jump. Oh, yo, he's just standing around the corner, I think. Yeah, he's not showing. See that? He's not showing himself. The only chance I have is make it look like I'm not going to attack him anyways. And then really quickly do this. Come on. No! No, that tiny little bridge was in the way. I would have gotten it. I would have gotten the kill, but the freaking little bridge part. Two million damage done on a long range map with some medium long range combat. Nice. Amani Gaming, speed about the economy changes. Oh boy. Um, I must admit that, man, I'm not a, I'm not a fan of the economy changes. I personally don't think the boosters are that good of an idea. Personally, if you ask me, for my opinion, I would say make boosters, but only, um, like, plus gold and plus silver for each match, right? Like World of Tanks has it or other games have it. But don't give boosters that actually give you in-game advantages, like real, you know, combat powers. And I think that's a really, really uh, wrong choice, in my opinion. I wouldn't do it that way. Or uh, that's what I would like uh, to see a little bit differently. And the economy changes. Um, hold on, let me drink something. I must admit that I'm a, bit, a little bit disappointed in in uh, in these little things that just go away. In re in recent times, a lot of little things have been going away. For example, you get 25% less from the supply drops. Only 160 um, keys now instead of what was it before? Uh, 200, right? So there, ju it just got away. And then now people have been talking about the uh, card game where the first one isn't free anymore. I don't know what you meant by this because the one I did yesterday was free. Mm, I'm not sure. Maybe I was uh, not paying attention to the right thing. But yeah, so uh, a, f a few things that are that were good uh, went away and I, I wish they would come back. Ah, uh, dang it. I'm getting him, and then him there. Wow, that was a triple drag. Dude, that was three, three dashes. He just dashed three times. Did you see that? How did he do that? How did he dash three times? Maybe it was a lag dash or something, but that really looked like three dashes to me. Wow, I see a Leo. That's a rare sight. Is that domination or beacon rush? Did you pay attention, guys? I don't know. Can they spawn there? I think they can, right? They have to actually walk in there. Okay, I should be able to get him before he kills me. Yep, nice. There we go. Killing that shield a little bit al already. Not much, but a little bit. And then I need to hide. I'm not alone here. I have some friend with me. But I need to hide very quickly here. So that this guy can't get me with his orcans. And he's coming, man. He's coming for me. Oh, man. I can't hit him. Oh, he's so staying so close to me that I have a hard time hitting him. Nice job, man. He knew how to do it. He knew how to make it very hard for me to kill him by dashing into me and basically face-hugging me completely. 
I think some Vortex or Hydras, no, Hydra uh, or, or Chimera came around the corner here before, right? Um, well, this guy's getting ki killed super quick. He won't be getting far. Godlike already, nice. I want to maintain the high fire rate, but I want to jump up on this building here. Come on, drop the stealth already. Jesus, that was a long freaking stealth. Oh man, I'm taking damage. Oh, they're everywhere. All right. Let's get into the fun bot again. The Spectre with Vortex. <clears throat> I love it. I love this bot so much. Did you see that I made a red skin now? I put a red skin on it. Which makes it fit even better to the rockets. Do you see how the Vortex and the, uh, the Spectre, they all blend in? It likes, it's like they're one setup, pretty much. I think he's getting killed anyways. No, he wasn't getting killed. Are you kidding me? He's still here? Why is he still here? He's not, he's not supposed to be still here. There you go. Die. And the shock train specter is gonna get me full hit. And there's the other guy. Man, no matter where I go, huh? There's no saving myself from this. Boom, I got him pretty good before he uh, entered stealth. And now I have to be careful. No, you know what? I think he's gonna get killed now by this guy. Uh. I can't believe I'm still alive, by the way. I should have died already long ago because I got hit too much by shock trains. Uh, it seems that more money's getting bored by war robots a little. Thought Patrol said that. Why would you think that? Because I'm running more fun setups these days? In my opinion, that's the opposite. Running more fun setups to me is, is, is usually... It amplifies the fun factor a lot, in my opinion. I could, I could be running just pure, you know, meta setups, but first of all, that's not much variety, so you basically would see all the time the same thing. And additionally, I think it's, uh, I, I personally feel like it's more fun to play, like, different setups and things that aren't, you know, ran, ran by everybody. Is Zeus Raijin good, Manny? Phantom Gaming is asking. The Zeus Raijin is, uh, you know, it's, it's okay. But it's I wouldn't I would lie if I said it was good by now. But the, today in today's meta, the Raijin in general has a problem, and with Zeus, which is a very mediocre damage dealer, it's even worse. Wow, he wanted to sneak that kill. Did you see this guy? He wanted to sneak away my kill. No, I was just waiting for the last drop on to kill him there. Oh man, that was unlucky. I was really waiting for this last drop there to, to get him super easily. It seems like I won't get this guy unless I jump. Boom. Wow, 100% kill. Uh-oh, this guy is gonna counter me very bad. I need help with this guy. Hey, free for all guys, help me out. Yep, got the kill. Nice. See, and that's what this what makes this thing so good. This weapon and this setup. You can do such crazy things. Oh my God! The only enemies that I see coming here, I'm jumping against the wall so I can activate my stealth and walk into his shield. But unfortunately. Uh, being that close to him will also uh, allow him to hit me pretty good. Alright. Orkin Inquisitor it is then. I think he just dashed, didn't he? Yep, he did dash before, so he was unable to do another dash there. But here he comes again. With Tyrants this time. He's trying to sneak a kill.
Oh, I didn't get it. Dang it. But I'm getting him, though. Yep. Nice. And I didn't have to use my stealth, which is the best thing about all this. If you have to use your stealth, what is it? It's something with Orkans, but I don't know what it was. I couldn't see it. That's a disadvantage. You need to know what you're dealing with. I need to know what this is. <clears throat> Boom, kill. But now he's coming. Oh, it's an or it's a it's a death button raven. Uh-oh. I can't defeat him uh, only if he makes a mistake. I won't be able to defeat him otherwise. If he makes no mistake, he deals too much damage, I think. I got him. Okay, he made a mistake. He he used too many rockets before. He should have saved some rockets. Okay, it's a Komiho now. Wow, I'm getting all the kills right here. That's awesome. I'm always trying to counter his dash. Got him, nice. Oh my goodness, how long are we gonna say stay alive here? Nine kills already with this monster setup. Uh, something is coming there. It's a bulwark. Yep, it, it had to be- oh no, you got this kill, oh man. It had to be a bulwark simply because he had the shield in a disabled form. I knew it, I knew it was a bulwark. Alright, let's get into the gust. This guy is number two. It's uh, something with Orkans. Orkan Spectre. Oh, he got killed. Oh no, there's a shock train. I don't want to deal with that. Now, I'm not sure whom I should attack first. Oh, uh, okay, I'm getting for the other guy first. I should be able to kill him just like that without stealth. Because I want to maintain my stealth, I need it. He's gonna jump at me in a few seconds. And, uh... I'm staying out of his range. He has to jump if he doesn't want to keep, keep collecting damage. He will not be able to hit me just without the jump. He has to do his jump now. It's the second, and I'm playing very careful and strategic here. Because my jump outlasts his. Alright, there we go. I'm getting him within his stealth jump, because he's landing on a higher position, see that? I can hit him perfectly here, and I don't have to have him in line of sight. Boom. The second place just got absolutely obliterated. So one of these guys is an or is, a, is the uh, Spectre... No, is a Shock Train Bulk. There it is, the Shock Train Bulk Azari. He's coming too. The Spectre is coming as well. I have to be careful. I have to look in all directions right now. So there we go. Now he's gonna dash into the line of sight of the Orc Spectre there. And he got it. He got the kill. You know what? I kind of expected it because this this guy just walked into the Orc Spectre, uh, Orc Spectre range there. He shouldn't have done that. He shouldn't have uh, walked into him. But I guess for him, it didn't make much of a difference from whom he gets killed, right? From his perspective, there isn't really much of a, you know, difference. Okay, where are you gonna land? Oh, in front of me, that's wonderful, nice. I like when you land in, fr in front of me, so I can do this. Boom, bye-bye. Yup, that's the gust, uh, gust Pursuer for you guys. It is a machine. It is a death machine. Let's see if we can sneak a kill at 500 meters range here. Because they're going to fight in a second. Oh, never mind. Somebody had line of sight. Just, just when I was paying attention, I was just thinking, okay, you know what? Somebody could come somewhere. Boom. Kill. Alright, so got him. And, oh, he spawned right next to me, it seems. The Komiho is very... It's got a bit of a problem against setups that do uh, this kind of damage here. And I got the kill. Nice. Oh, no, I wanted to land up on this on this little thing here. That would have been the, the ultimate vantage point. Oh, let's force him into a jump. 
Do a jump, come on, do your jump, dude. Okay, he's not gonna do his jump. He's, he's playing smart. He knows how to not play. Yep, he's doing the exact right thing. He makes sure that when he does the jump finally, I'm getting whooped. But you know what? I'm not giving him this kill. Because I'm rather just going this way and fighting whatever this is, ignoring the other dude completely. Bye! <laughs> gotcha. Yo, you played very well, Enemy 4. Let me tell you, you have done absolutely everything right with this jump. You have done it all right. There was nothing you could have improved with this. But uh, the thing is that I was able to uh, just mad dash away and jump away super far and do this um, without him doing much against me. But he's going to get me now. I have no jump and he's got a stealth jump. There it is. Where do you land? I want to get killed by the other guy behind me if possible. Enemy 4, yes! It worked! This guy got me. That's exactly what I wanted. I want to get killed by the other guy because the, uh, the other person is not the second in line. He's the third guy, right? And as that, he has the least, ch uh, you know, chance to, uh, to get me and catch up to me. He's got an Inquisitor uh, with uh, Orkan and Exodus, I think, and this right there is a... Yeah, a very dangerous foe with Orkan. Now, the problem is he's gonna get him now. No, I didn't get the kill. Hey, <laughs> damn it. I was trying to taint, uh, time it so that I would be the one getting this kill. Did you see it? I was waiting. Oh, man, they're both in front of me. You know what? I'm going to go this way now. Inquisitor has already tied. Oh, no, man. You shouldn't jump like that. Now you're like an easy kill for everyone who has a stealth jump. In this case, me, and I'm out of your weapons range, bro. One more rockets. There it is. Nice. Whoa! Oh, he got me. Yep. Uh, he, I th he must have... I think he jumped. I think he stealth jumped, or didn't he? Did he not? Because uh, he made it so far so quick. I'm not sure. But uh, 18 kills. Seems like we're getting better and better, huh? Um, all right, so I'm gonna refresh the page here because uh, that was weird. So once again guys uh, There's a good chance. Wow over 2 million damage um, There's a good chance that you some of you guys are gone now and some other people have come So I'm gonna say and ask you guys if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel You like the content you want to get some giveaways and test server videos then please hit subscribe on the channel guys It helps me out a lot and we're aiming towards the next huge gap the next huge goal is 200,000 subscribers. That's where we're going towards. And that's when the next super uber giveaway is going to wait for you guys. Nice game, Manny. Thanks, Salad. Salad is his name. Okay, so let's go with some long range this time. Right? Let's go with, uh, with this. And we're going to get this beacon super quick. <clears throat> there we go. The double dash might be fixed in War Robots. There might be so in the future that dash bots will have a slight, maybe a second or two between the dashes. It's not really a nerf. They will still be just as damaging and killing and whatnot. Um, but it will still be a little bit of a, of a difference because they can't just instantly, you know, go 200 meters far. So this guy has already seen me. You can see him. And maybe we're going to be able to get two snipers now. He's already sending his rockets. My second dash was just completely taken away from me. And I'm trying to counter the snipers now. Oh, forget it. Somebody just spawned right here in front of me.
I want to get this guy with his uh, with his freaking weapon right there. Come on. No. Yes. Okay. I got him. All right. We got him. Or somebody did. I don't know. Good. 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 So one Hydra player is out of the match. Something that was worth taking out, I think. Because these, these guys can... They can really destroy your game, man. With their freaking... Um, uh, you know, stuff right there. Alright, you know what? The problem is I'm in range of his. I'm in range of his rockets there. So if he comes out, he can hit me pretty good with his rockets, and I don't want that. I'm backing off a little. Wow, boom. There goes a fury. Thanks. Second dash once again stolen from me, because I took the second dash immediately, and it just went down the drain, pretty much. I hate when that happens. It's when you dash too, off, too quick and you have not the right thing. So I knew he was going to do his stealth jump, but I, I wanted to do uh, wanted him to do that, pretty much. Because now he's no longer protected. Now I can kill him in, in, in his uh, Inquisitor, uh, his, shot, um, his Orc and stuff. No, what is it? Not Orc, what am I talking about? <clears throat> okay, getting him there. Uh-oh. <laughs> he came out, he wanted to test me, and then he's like, oh god, he gets shot right in the face, gets back immediately. That was funny. Oh no, not this, not this target. That's right, take this guy. Oh my god, this guy is annoying as hell. No, not target switch! I hate when it switches targets the whole freaking time. So he did his stealth jump, that's that's good, that's also what I wanted. There you go. Killing him, super quick kill. Very important kill on top of that because it was a shock train, and no, an orc inspector. Something very damaging and dangerous for you. So he can't really do much against me here because I got uh, enough physical shield protection. But if I don't need to, then I don't want to take the damage, right? I'm trying to not take the hits when I don't have to and uh, make get my shield destroyed. Oh man, my physical shield just broke. Dang it. They have done a lot of damage to me, evidently. Uh, his, his tyrants are now reloading. That's good. And now they're re ready with reloading, and I just dashed into the corner. Now, will I be able to hide here? Wow. Dude, I'm so destroyed. I've got like zero health. <laughs> he stealth jumped. He did a stealth jump. That wasn't too bad. That was actually not too bad. We, uh, we could have had worse, I guess. So, boom, there he goes, see? Because he already had his stealth jump used, he couldn't do much anymore. Oh, wait a minute, that's him. Oops. I thought the other guy was him. Okay, never mind then. So, and he just used the stealth jump too, so I can kill him. Wow, he took a lot of damage right there. Taking back the beacon here. What is coming over there? Oh, it's an orc inspector. And he's already jumping at us. And there's also a jumper. Yeah, he's clearly... He doesn't want to fight. He go, goes back into um, into safety. I don't, I'm not sure if I can get him. I should be able to, though. Now he has nowhere to go. Got him. Nice. Very important kill. So this guy with his shock trains is, gonna, is having fun over there. Because he's so far away, we can't get him. And he's, he's, of course, he's hitting me, of course. What else could he hit? Just three enemies, all vulnerable backs. Nobody wants to go there, because everyone knows this guy, guy is too fast anyways. 
he won't catch up to him. Just get killed already, Jesus! Wow. I just couldn't get him killed, man. He, he was just... Oh, wow. You know what? I think I might be able to do a, a good, good hit now and kill him around the corner with a chain. Boom! See that? I knew it was gonna happen. I knew I was gonna be able to chain around the corner there. Now, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to survive the damage coming in now. Before I lock on, finally. Yeah, I was. Thankfully. Okay. Whew. I managed to fool him a little bit with quick direction changes. <clears throat> this late in the live stream, how many viewers do we still have? 1,200! Wow! This late in the stream. And we've already streamed two hours. And uh, when I take a look at the donation goal, man, it's full. That means we have a third hour coming up, guys. Wow! He knew it was happening. He knew it and he was ready for it. Wow. What? My weapon fired all by itself. I hadn't had... I didn't want to fire. My weapon fired all by itself right there. What? Boom! Into the ground. Just by itself. Because I pressed the button before I jumped up. Before he came around the corner there. Yeah. That was very little he could do. Dang it, that was a bad shot. Alright. Wow, that was a great quick quick reaction by him, but that my weapon fired into the wall all by itself. I didn't have the button pressed. It still did it though. <laughs> hey Manny, Gormood Singh. Sorry. And um yeah, hi dude. Only 4 p.m. here. Wow. That must be like the the, the states, right? In the states it could be around 4 p.m. right now, I guess. Wow, the, the, the matches we have are so crazy, dude. Uh, it's just... And, and the best thing is we have so much variety in this hangar. We have so much variety. We can switch from all these things back and forth, left and right, and just have always the right hangar for the right thing coming up, right? <clears throat> Thanks for the Discord link, Nightbot. Ben Barlett said. <laughs> I'm playing the Nightbot. You're welcome, dude. Or wait, it's a it's a bot. It says, "You're welcome, my friend." <laughs> That's what the Nightbot would respond, maybe. <clears throat> the Nightbot is giving you guys links every 12 or 14 minutes or so. The Nightbot gives you links to the Discord server that we have. You know what? While I'm here, I might as well just give you one normally, uh, pretty much just manually. Okay. Invite people. There we go, edit the link, make it only a short link. This link is only going to be valid for one hour, okay? The link you're gonna get only works for one hour, ladies and gentlemen. After that, it will be invalid. Um, but uh, you can join our Discord group chat uh, for this, the Manny Gaming Good Mood Gaming chat. If you like, you don't have to, nobody has to, right? Always a can do. So, I should probably be looking at the screen, huh? Let's go with this thing here. Wait a minute, this was free for all. Oh no, I just made a huge mistake, guys. I just made a huge mistake. I chose, uh... Come on, come on. Yes! I chose the this hangar for free for all, which is not working. This is not a free for all hangar, guys. No! I almost got the kill. No, I don't want to get killed by him. He's already the first. I need to get killed by the guy behind me, who is the second, of course. All right. You know what? This is going to be difficult now. I have the wrong hanger. This is not a free fall hanger. He's going to jump now. There it is. And I'm hitting him extremely well in the air. Boom. There you go. What is this? It's a hover. No, what is this? Is this a raven? Is it a hover? Is it a plane? What is it? No one knows. Nobody has any idea. Come on. Let's get up to this guy. Ow! Where was that coming from? That must have been this guy.
Wow! In the stealth! I got hit by homing rockets in the stealth. Wow, dude. That's a bad, a bad thing there. Alright. I'm reloading my Tarans. I only use three shots, but I might as well because there's nothing else to shoot at right now. And this is a Bulgazari, I guess, with Scourge. No, yes. It is. Very difficult to kill. But you know what? He's getting attacked from behind now. Which might allow me to snack him. Oh no, he got it. He got he got the kill. How dare you get the kill? What were you thinking getting the kill? You know what? I'm really confused so that we are still first right now with a hangar that is like more fun setups than anything else. Oh, oh, yo, oh, oh god, that's a that's not what I want to fight. And this is also not what I want to fight because he's got a stealth jump. A Garrett. Uh, no, yeah, a Galahad. I can't believe there was a Galahad coming in. Wow. Do you know how much shield energy he has, like, on this on this shield of his? I'm just distracting him for a second. Activating my thing here. Uh, hopefully we're gonna be doing enough damage to him. No! No! No, 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 no! Yes! Oh. <sighs> that was close. <laughs> that was freaking close. You know, um, waiting for the right moment. All right, here we go. Ah, he got killed. Dang it, I could have done it, maybe. He's a third guy. Hmm, rather should have gotten killed by enemy six. All right, you know what? Let's jump into the, uh, this thing. And go to the left because we saw somebody using a stealth jump. Which means that one guy is gonna should be should be something we can kill. No, we can't. We're too slow. Yeah, it's an orc inspector, and we're too slow. Will we get him before he jumps? No! Who is hitting me now? Who is hitting me now? Where are you coming from? Oh my god! Where did enemy six come from? Jesus, he must have just spawned one meter next to me! He must have literally spawned in firing distance of a storm weapon. He must have spawned in firing distance of a shotgun weapon. That's how close he must have literally spawned in my face. Ah! This is so cheap, I hate this. Uh, I was trying to fool him around there, but he wouldn't let me fool him. He's, he's losing lock-on. Yeah, he lost lock-on the whole time. Do you notice that? He's losing lock-on the whole time. Every time he wants to fire, he loses his lock-on and he has to fire again. Because he has to hold his shield so strangely sideways. Um... Oh, man. Yeah, I don't know what I can do now. He's coming for me, though. Oh, he's out of range. Wow. He managed to get two meters far and be out of range. And now I get grilled from both sides. He was... Ah. <laughs> uh, nothing I can do there. And now I have to jump into this setup here. And I'm no longer first. See that? I told you that was going to happen. What? All rockets went through the wall. What? I just need one rocket to hit the guy and all my rockets went into the wall. Holy crap. That is crazy. So I'd rather get killed by him right there. Because he he's he's not in the lead. Do you see how this bot single-handedly kills 250,000 health? It is absolutely no biggie for this guy. 250,000 health, even 300,000 with a Mark II level 12 regime. You just get you just get killed. You just get killed, no problem there.
Oh my god. That didn't kill him? Oh, you got to be kidding me, dude. That didn't kill him. Now I have to lock on. Oh my god. I'm out of the match. I had to start locking on and the and it wouldn't wasn't But you know what? Wait a minute. Th four vortex. Four vortex max level. Deal four times. We have done less than 50% damage. He had fi he has he had less than 50% health. Okay, less than 50%. That'd be 110,000 HP. We have 34,000 damage times 4. We have 132,000 damage damage output. 130 or 140,000 damage with all four weapons. He was standing completely still and he had less than 110,000 health. Where are the other 30, 40,000 damage that should have been delivered by these Vortex rocket. I am counting one Vortex that did not hit. I'm counting one Vortex that, I don't know, I don't just went into nowhere. <clears throat> oh well, it wasn't a free for all hanger. I chose it by accident. <laughs> I, want, I didn't mean to choose a, 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 a Vortex weapon. I love how somebody says blah 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 is better. Uh, saw me just lose against an Inquisitor with a lock-on weapon against a stealth jump Inquisitor. Okay, uh, I guess you can be as good as you want. <laughs> you will get killed. Simple as that. You can't fire, you can't lock on. And the weapon should have killed him. I'm really surprised that the weapon didn't do it. I'm really surprised. That should have happened there. What is this? It's a Jesse? What? A Jesse. When was the last time I saw a Jesse? Uh-oh. Oh, I'm in trouble now. All right, I am. Um, so far, I'm still alive. What is this guy doing? He's just sitting there right now. Looks like he lost connection. I don't want to give this kill to anybody else, so I'm waiting for enough rockets to be regenerated, so I can kill him in one salvo, pretty much. There we go. Nice. All right. <laughs> yeah. That won't work. <clears throat> and we have... Oh, oh, we have 600 meters range coming at us. Yeah. I ah, god damn it, man. All right. I need to get a little bit closer to him, so I can hit him all the way. He will stealth jump immediately anyways. There it is. There's a stealth jump that I was- I knew it was gonna happen. Okay, we got the kill because we had more burst damage output. But it's a difficult spot right here. I need both of my jumps. Oh, he's ready for me. Look, he's he knows what I'm. Uh, he knows what's gonna happen there. Yep. Wow. That what, what was my? Something happened with my second jump. I just activated the second jump, and I only did like. <laughs> That's what what I just did. Uh oh. Nah, just one salvo was enough. Alright, maybe we can catch him though. Yep, before he made it around the corner. Boom. Alright, so. I'm guessing that somebody else will come around the corner real soon. All right, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to make make him activate his stealth jump. And then I get stuck at the wall. Wonderful. Wonderful. Then I get stuck at this tiny little thing on the ground, which takes all my range advantage away from me. Yes, nice. All right, he's out of range. He's got 350. I've got 600. 
So I can right now do this. And he's just regenerating his stealth jump right now. We all know that. He's, he's regenerating the stealth, and I'm going to make a re really crazy attack run right here. So, he can't react that fast, and his stealth is already used. Bye-bye. So, see you later, dude. And this guy is also activating his stealth jump. Alright. Oh, man, there it is. There's the stealth jump. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we have a uh, uh, donation coming in, and we're in the middle of the open with no hope for cover at all. He's gonna hit us one more time, right? Nope, he won't. Nice. This guy has just jumped. Bist du in Deutschland? Mohammed is asking. Are you in, in Germany? Yep, I am. Oh man, look, he's actually coming all the way over here to get this kill. <laughs> he's, he wants this kill. He's got 500 meters range. If I can walk out of this range, right now he shouldn't be able to do it anymore. But this guy will kill me. There he comes. Uh, I'm waiting for the direction indicator. There it is. Okay. No chance. I can't dodge these weapons. And there was two of them looking at me too much, too close to me. All right, what we got here? We've got something with extremely low health right there. Looks like the Jesse again or something. I don't know. The Jesse is killing something. No, it's not. Okay. Just looks like looked like it. Oh, he just activated his jump. Okay. No. Getting hit from the side there, but I have to take it. There's nothing I can do. There's absolutely no other choice but to take this damage. And now I have to jump because there's... Oh, and I only have two Orkins left. What? Two Orkins are all I've got now. Everything else was already gone. Wow. Duh. You know what? You kill me. That's okay. You've got a little Galahad. You deserve this kill, man. You deserve it. <laughs> I was waiting for the last possible split second to activate my jump uh, and uh, and try to get away from there. So that little Galahad is going to get killed here. Now, and we have a 500 meters range thing coming up there. So he's going to dash now. Where's the dash? Okay, there it was. Ow! Ah! Ow! 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 <laughs> God damn it! Too many guys, all coming from all sides. Let's go and use the Spectre here. All right, did a good amount of damage to this guy. And Wow, he walks in that very second. He starts walking. Holy moly. That's what I call freaking careful, dude Is the uh, I'm not sure if the orc inspector just jumped upwards Or forward. I don't think I'm in range No, they jumped forward The orc inspector made it there I think he might underestimate the range I've got because he doesn't see that I'm actually running this weapon. Do you see that? He thought I had Orkins. He totally didn't see that I had uh, other weapons with long range. So I'm firing empty all my weapons on him here. Hopefully we get him killed before we fall down. No! No! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, I got this kill. Nah. 
He was just uh, milliseconds out of my uh, my range for for the uh, Tolumba stuff. All right, all right. We had a, a thing coming in. So he's got 300 meters range with his weapon. He can't do anything. Or 350 maybe. Let's fire one rocket in. He's saying no. Look, he's le looking left and right. Sorry, bro. Yeah, I know you couldn't do much there. All right, we have a Zeus. Oh, we have more than just a Zeus coming up. I'm not using my stealth jump yet. I can take a little bit of damage here. And now I can corner shoot. And this guy's actually in a problem. Like, he's... These guys are probably going to attack each other. My kill, but now I'm getting killed myself, I guess. Am I? Will I make it? Yes, I made it! Haha! <laughs> And now I'm just corner shooting this guy. Oh, he's almost dead now. He can't really do much. What are you doing, dude? You have to first lock on. Wow, he already dashed out, even though his lock on hasn't finished yet. So he was giving me a target without showing, you know, without actually uh, being able to fire back. He would have been able to kill me if he had done it a little bit differently. I think we should be able to jump up there. Yep. Backwards jump up here. Nice. Great match, dude. Camper Manny. Well, uh, I guess with long range, you, have, you, you can't just walk in and brawl. With a Tolumba, you you shouldn't be brawling. You have to be careful with it. Keep in mind the bot is very low HP. It goes it goes down very quick, right? You can you can kill it um, in like two three real good shots. So you need to be careful with this setup, and uh, especially when you run low low uh, long range short deep uh, let lo uh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> low DPS damage per second, then you have to stay stay out of enemy line of sight. Otherwise, you would be playing like a fool. Simple as that. Sorry, if you run in with a long-range setup and, and brawl, then you're playing it wrong. <laughs> that doesn't make you a not, that doesn't make you a camper. That makes you a, 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 a not not very smart player in this uh, situation. Long range is not made for brawling. Long range, except for scourge. Scourge can brawl and is long range, but usually it's you know either this or that. <clears throat> Alright, we have enemies coming up for the center beacon. Is that beacon rush? I'm not sure. There's a lot of them standing there. And I'm trying to get up here too. Forget it. Holy. Wow. They saw the jump. They immediately bailed. They immediately bailed sideways. All into safety. So you're gonna get killed, man. What was you thinking, bro? <laughs> what was this guy thinking? And what are you thinking too? You think you can squish me like that real quick? The, there's a, those are Punishers and Avengers, man. You don't squish them real su real quick. You get squished. That's what you do. <laughs> no, I, I had some great great setup. That was not me alone. That was uh, my team providing really good setup. Uh, uh, you know, feet, uh, what's it called? Protection at this point. So... Alright, he fired into the wall. I'm getting him killed. There you go. Boom. Oh no, there's too much coming in. Holy crap. Even here I get hit by the sniper from all the way up there. Dang it. But I think we finally managed to get the center beacon here. Not purely, but probably also to a certain extent we, ex you know, distracted the enemy. And this allowed us to pretty much kill them super quick and uh, get the center beacon. I got a kill? I didn't even see anybody. Okay, I just got a kill. So there you go, out of your range, so nice. We still have control over the center beacon. It's 
also an Haichi with uh, Tarans. No, uh, we're getting killed now. Too many enemies. Uh, I was trying to maybe go for the beacon, right? I was trying to maybe have a chance to get this beacon, but clearly I did not really have much of a chance there. One of our Vortex even hit the guy. Uh oh, they're underneath here. Alright, that's it for him. And there's one for you. Let's see how he reacts. Maybe that will trigger his stealth jump. Oh, that's a Lancelot. Boom! Taking some good damage from this. I made sure to jump backwards, so I because uh, I didn't I didn't know what, where I was gonna land in if I hadn't jumped backwards. We have the beacon still, so overall we're doing a good job. We're not getting killed so quick and easily. Did a bit of damage there. It wasn't a full hit, but it was good enough. I was able to drop his shield. Okay, jumping into safety. I don't let myself get caught in this in this rain of the, all the rockets there. Dang it, the Zeus Fury got me again. I didn't mean to get hit by this again. All right, this guy is probably getting getting killed. Ah, uh, no. That would have been a nice kill if he hadn't activated his uh, his jump so early. But I think we could, in theory, maybe get him killed now. Let's hope we can. I'm trying, okay? Yep. Bye-bye, Spectre. Boom. That's what you do with the Orkin, uh, with the Vortex thing. And this guy's dead too. Nice. I just got hit by Shock Train again. Now I want that Shock Train, dude. Problem is, this Zeus Fury is just non-stop paying attention to this position here. Ah, that was... Did you see that? That was like, that was like three, f five, six, seven, six thousand damage for something that should have been a hundred and forty thousand. That was a little bit better because he was pretty much just standing still right there. Okay, the Zeus has fired. We can move. I'm not going to hit him. Yep, those were good hits because he was pretty stationary right there. Uh, that was not a good hit. <clears throat> Alright, I want to kill this guy. Uh-oh. Nice, I got him. And now this guy here, who's not hitting me yet... Nice, we made it, okay. The enemy team is controlling the beacon though, so we have to push. We have to push for a beacon here. We can no longer just... The thing is, I can't push with this bot. This robot isn't really a beacon pusher. Yeah, you're dead, man. Boom, I knew it, because the Bulgazari launched, and when he launched, he pretty much just got himself whooped there. Wow, that was next to no damage. I was hoping for more damage right there, to be honest. Ah, uh, that was not gonna be good. Yeah. That was a Spectre. Orc and Spectre it was. Ha! He knew it! You saw him uh, dashing away right in the right moment there. What is this? What is coming over there? It's another Bulgazari, damn it. Oh, he dashed again right when I shot. Every time I fire, he dashes again. Now he dashed another time. That should be it for him, hopefully. Yep. Alright, got him. 
but I lost a vortex with this. We're still kicking back, we're not done yet, and the Orc Inspector finally got killed, so although we're running a very squishy setup that isn't... We can't push a beacon, that's what I'm saying. We can do a lot of stuff, what we cannot do is push a beacon. I need my team to push the beacon, I can only assist uh, in dealing some damage. movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger where he I think it was Top Gun or so he fired a dude he, a, a guy was hanging hanging he was flying a jet okay a, a, a fighter jet he was flying um, or a helicopter or something and he had a dude that was hanging on his rocket okay on his rocket was a guy hanging and he said you are fired and then he pretty much just absolutely just you know sent him sent the guy flying with the rocket hanging on the rocket through a building and, you know, pretty much destroying everything that was behind it. Some kind of chopper or something of the enemies. That was so awesome. I'm not sure if you guys know this. Uh, that's a, that was a fun situation in this, I guess, Top Gun, I think it was, the movie. I could be, I could be wrong, though. We have a lot of firepower here on this setup. We need to get it in the right spot, right? That's the danger, or that's the... The thing, we need to make this thing sit at the right place. If we're not at the right spot, we can't do much with this. And right now, it looks like we're not winning this match, even though the enemy seems to be pushed back to their base very well. So this guy there is firing Vortex or Aphid. 
I don't want to get those, get hit by those. So I'm staying a little bit further away. So there we go, dealing some damage to him. Oh, he's hitting me very well with his rockets, I must say, man. Even though I was in stealth. Hit me extremely good. I'm standing with the back against the wall so that the vortex and ape fit doesn't get me, but it got me anyways. Because if you stand with your front against the wall, what will happen is you have your weapons that are so long that you can't get close enough to the wall. So if you stand with your back against the wall, you're getting closer to the wall and that will very often protect you from the damage coming in by, um, by Vortex and Aphid and stuff like that. You know what, let's send a present flying to this guy. Right here. Boom! Oh wow, that was little damage. Even the shock train hit me, but that was a lot of damage right there. Freaking shock train always hits you. There's, they only need 0.0001 seconds of line of sight. That's all, all they need, and then and then they kill you. Boom! What? It wasn't me? How dare you steal my kill? How dare you? Ha ha! That was Nelson, wasn't it? Nelson from The Simpsons. Ha ha! Yep. Thing is, he's gonna get me anyways. Either me or with chain, but he's gonna get me no matter what. Ha ha! <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, he's gonna get me now. I'm da I'm firing my rockets once and then a second time, so in case he dashes. Oh man, that wasn't how I planned this. Oh yeah, I got him. But the shock train now got me in the back. It's what you get when you stand in all the way back in the edge of the map and just sit there until you get ready to hit to kill something with your insta kill weapon. I guess then you, there's not much you can do. I was trying to fight him, but he was just he would just walk away. What what uh, what else could he do when he has 500 meters range? He doesn't have to fight me in a slow range. Oh no, he's already coming. Oh, he had exactly the timing for my weapons. It was exactly the timing. Uh, my 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 shot, my dash, my dash was just not ready by that second. All right, I'm gonna get rid of this fury here, or somebody will. All right, let me just empty the weapon. They have two shock train Bulgazaris in the enemy team, and I have nothing that blocks the shock train damage. I got no physical shield here. And and then on top of that, he has a physical shield against my damage. So it couldn't be any more of a nightmare than it is right now to deal with this guy. There is no way in hell I can deal with him. There's no way I can kill him. So I'm just gonna hope we get the beacon control and I don't know. I can somehow... They have another Bulgazari shock train right there. He's firing at something, but you know what happens when I get in range of his? He'll just go away. There's two shock trains, uh, two of them. You can completely forget it. Both of these shock train uh, Bulgazaris are are in, in range to fire at me, I think. See, there he is. Uh, and I only have this and one more robot left. The other robot is the uh, Chimera Fury. So right now, I don't have much I can do other than just waiting here. The Chimera Fury will not win the match for us. The only thing is I can do is hope I can do something good with this setup here. And while he can do damage from with his legendary 500 meters range, I cannot. I'm too far away to deal damage. Both of these guys only have to fire at me once and they got me. 
All right, there you go. All right, finally, we have the right moment here to engage a little bit. Okay. Now, see, it was worth to wait a little bit here because now we're turning this around and I hadn't sacrificed my bot. If I had just walked in there, I would have pretty much just sacrificed my bot for no reason. And, um, yo, that, hadn't, that would not have helped at all. So, this guy. Ah, uh, no matter where I look, they always bypass my energy shield. Damn it. It sucks so much. Nothing uses rockets right now. Ah! Now, look how, how low my HP is now. <laughs> One or two more shots and I get killed pretty much. And he's got Ember, which means I can't corner shoot. I can't corner shoot him because he's got Ember on this robot. Yeah, I need your help, man. He's, he's getting ready for the next sh uh, stealth jump. That's is that a Leo? Dude, that looks like a Leo. Or is it the uh, the Inquisitor? It looked like a Leo to me right now. It is a Leo! Wow, but it's a Leo with Ember, so once again corner shooting is out of the question for me. Damn it, man. All right, I'm getting some backup here. Ah, no chance. The zoo's got me. All right. Oh, we have still two. We have this robot too. Okay. You know what? If we got this bot still, then we are gonna win this. With this bot, we're gonna win this. No problem now. Uh, even though we're we're even winning right now, but I didn't think I didn't know we still had this thing left. So there he gets killed and he gets killed too. Now we have got a sniper here. Boom, there go. Oh, what? You hit me? Dude, I faked you. I totally faked you there and you still somehow hit me. It's crazy. Oh wow, that's a lot of damage that I'm suffering right now. So healing activated, resistance activated, and that means you're toast, Haichi. Oh no, I'm toast too. What? <laughs> I thought I was gonna gonna be able to handle him, but he was Mark II, level 12 max too, and uh, his friend right there didn't have much anything to do, much else to do than hitting me as well. Um, not a bad match though, pretty good actually. Uh, I did not know we still had this guy in the lineup. I thought we had different things. By the way, for the next live stream, I will try try to prep a different hangar again, right? Just try to prep different things and uh, and keep them, you know changing we have three hangar oh come on no you know what I, this is the third time they want me to play can uh, yamantau in a row no sir thank you i want to have some variety with you guys and show you different maps not just the same map with the same game mode all the time come on i think of these 20 rounds or 15 rounds we had today we played like six of them free for all on yamantau or five that's what it feels like to me at least okay this is my this is what I think this is actually my absolute favorite map these days. Let's go and use the brawling hangar. So they're gonna jump at each other. And he was waiting for uh, for his... Alright, there we go. And there you go too. Boom! Both of them killed. This guy is just standing around there and he can't believe what he just witnessed. He's standing there so surprised. He can't, he, he just, he doesn't know what the heck just happened. No, I think he just has a disconnect, right? Maybe he just has a disconnect, I don't know. Yeah, must have been. He was, uh, he was jumping at me before. You saw that he was jumping at me. 
because uh, he hit me with a Dragoon and the Scourge the whole time. Doing some free damage is always good. He's gonna dash behind the wall, isn't he? Or he wanted to. Boom! Rampage! Oops, sorry. Rampage with only this one robot here. With the death button raven. We have a hover jumping up in, in two seconds to catch us. There it is. Oh, he got me before I was able to get him. Okay. I like this song, by the way. This is a really beautiful song, in my opinion, man. I think I heard it on on some other channel first. Was it Predator? Was it Anakin? I don't know which channel it was. I heard it on a different channel first, and I liked it so much that I immediately wanted to look where, like, see how the name is and 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 the, and such, because it reminds me of this song from Starbound when you're the game Starbound. Maybe some of you know it, where you're. Um, like Terraria, just uh, more ex you know extensive, and there is this this town thing, and there is there's a song that sounds almost exactly like this. You'll hear it again in a few seconds when the loud part you know stops, and I think if you know this song, you know what I'm talking about. So we have an Haichi right there. So he dashed in, he dashed out. If I land in his shield, that would be legendary, but he will not let me do that. Uh, but I'm getting him anyways, okay. Now this guy is coming though. Uh, he knows my stealth jump was used. But you know what the problem is? There it is. There is the problem. You see the problem, right? We have them coming from behind and from the front at the same time. And there is only so much I can survive. From the back, from the front, literally no chance. Completely chanceless. I was even dodging all the rockets from the Orkin dude at first, but forget it, man. If it would have been Tarans, I would have had a chance. A slight chance just, but a little chance at least. So he's almost killed, but he's getting killed now by the other Spectre. Yeah. And he might be able to kill me on top of everything else too. Yeah, he is. He is. Because I had my stealth jump already used. And... Ah! Oh, what? Why was he at so low health? What? Why was this guy at such low health? What in the world happened there that he was so low? Dude! I thought he's at full health and I don't need to step in to prevent this from happening, but he was... It was a fresh griffin. The fresh griffin just spawned there. And he was already at super low health. What the heck? From the Dragoon Fury, I guess, right? That's the only thing that I can imagine that Dot did that. Damn it, they're all spawning in Haichis now. I hate high cheese. So here's the song again, I think. Coming? No? Oh, it's already gone. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> I snuck that kill. And now these two high cheese can battle it out. I don't mind if you guys kill each other, all, all of you there. Yup, I guess that's not what he expected to happen, huh? The Bulgazari. He's turning in his shield, how cute is that? He just turned his shield sideways so he doesn't get the damage from, um, from that. That was awesome.
All right, got him. But now I'm in trouble because they're coming from everywhere now. I didn't know he... How much damage? Show me the picture, please. What was that? I just got hit by some massive instant damage. There is a specter? Oh. I didn't know there was a specter here. Okay, well that explains it then. Holy crap, I had no idea there was an, a, a shock train specter. Boom, there goes the kill. See that? That's what happens. Specter shock train. Snuck the kill in one hit. No problem. Requires nothing. Just pr press the button to jump, press the button to fire. The rest is done by the weapon. Gotta do nothing else. And this guy there is a problem. He pretty much counters me in every single way. I'm just gonna jump away. Yeah, you're gonna hit me now. You know what? I don't care. And Shock Train got the kill again. Nothing you need to do. All you need to do is press the button and jump. And got the second kill too. You know what? I should be taking the other... I, I, think, I, I think I should be running the different setup. Not the uh, death button raven. But I should be running the other raven. He just got three kills. Three kills that were not his. Three kills that were all of them not his. Alright, almost died again. Unreal, dude. I was trying to kill myself, but it didn't work. But you know what? I guess it's good that he had to, to use a stealth jump. Because now he's vulnerable. I... Where, but you know what? I don't understand. Where was this guy the whole time? Where was this guy the whole match? So far, I don't need to do anything. I'm first. But there might be a, a situation coming when it won't be enough for me anymore to just sit here and wait. How? Why is this guy so high? I'm hoping he doesn't do the stealth jump and just gets me immediately with the full damage. Yep. Gotcha, dude. And there you go. Now, this guy's probably going to kill me now, I, I suppose. No, he's actually not. Nice. I wanted to bring in my full salvo here. So that I can, next time, next chance I get, kill him super quick. Because I need to be able to do it in one hit. Shock Train killed him again. Sim! Just one jump, one kill. He gets every kill with this. He gets every single kill with this. Uh, I, all I can do is prepare the kills, but um, uh, but it's okay because even with the Shock Train sneaking kills that he did, I think he was still not enough. He was second, right? But that's the problem. The weapon deals all damage in an instant. And uh, I, that, no, that must be changed. The sh Shock Train would be a balanced weapon if it was a sustained beam. If you had to fire, f like, like, um, what is it called? Like Gecko. If you had to fire like Gecko, a sustained beam at the enemy, then you could, you know, stealth yourself, you can sneak array, you can get in cover, you can make sure you're not suffering 70-something thousand instantaneously, right? And that's what I, that's my, my feedback on the weapon. If they make it so that it fires continuously instead of just one shot at once, that would be perfect. Then the weapon, I think, would be well-balanced, in my opinion. At least that's how I see it. 
So, uh, do you notice that the game wants me to play Yamantau every second match? There's eight maps or nine maps in the game. And every second time I'm supposed to play the map that I really just can't enjoy. <laughs> Alright, domination here. Um... You know what? Let's try to heal up our friends. Let's try to stick to our team and try to heal them up. This Kamiho here right next to me, we, th we, we could go with him. Got the beacon here with them together. Alright, I'm activating my healing because I have the resistance active too. But the problem is now I have a, a, a 15 second cooldown on that, right? And I need that to fight. In order to fight, I have uh, I need need my cooldown. Uh oh, that's Orkins. Oh wow, I love how he hits me with every rocket right there. Even though I was standing right behind cover. Oh man, you're stuck there, dude. Oh, he was stuck so bad. He was stuck so freaking bad. Wow, did he do a lot of damage? So quick. Alright, so we're here with our team. I'm not sure what exactly he's using. Okay, I managed to activate the resistance just in time. There we go, nice. So now I caught the attention, do you see that? I hit everybody once, so they all look here now and have attention. I, I haven't healed my friends yet. I need to heal my friends a little bit, but everyone who's with me is at full health. Why? Why are those guys who I could heal all at full health the whole time? I'm too far away, man. Nice. Uh-oh. Somebody's hitting me with some rockets there. And he just fired into the wall. There we go. Taking all the damage here. I can't heal up my friend right there around the corner. Because he's just really in a bad spot. This guy. I would like to heal you, man. I would like to heal you so much, my friend. I can't. You're so... You're in a bad position. Activating the mode here. I'm resisted now. And now I'm pretty much dead. <laughs> He's gonna make sure he gets me now. Oh, I survived! If I can- Yo, we made it! Oh my god, I can't believe we made it. Hold on, hold on. Hello! I'm right behind- Oh no, my weapons need reloading. Oh god. That's bad. That's bad. Are we gonna do it? Are we gonna be able to do it? Come on! Yes! Yeah! <laughs> oh man, that was awesome. Did you see how much we just did with this one robot? Oh my god. Jacob, one quest, one keys or so. Shout out, please. The little robot one. I've forgotten its name. Are you talking about the mender that we just used? Oh god, come on, man. Just when I fire at him. I'm gonna one-hit you when you come out. Boom. Well, he was at low health even before. Wow, what an awesome match, guys. 15 minutes before the end of the stream, we had such an awesome match with the Mender, man. I love this thing. It is just so cool. Not the Wayland, it's the Mender. Yep. We have only done 800,000 damage. Samet has done so much more. Let's see what he was using. Tarans? Well, yeah, Orc, Orc Inspector does a lot of damage. Shock Train, ugh. I guess, yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, man. That's a lot of a damage hanger right here, man. I wonder how he only has 450 in average, though. By the way, he's in the Master League. So, one step uh, further, I think, is then the Champions League. Great to see players actually, you know, doing what the game's supposed to do. Um, playing in a way where you can, um, you know, uh, compete. I just shouted you out a second ago, dude. 
Spectre, Spe uh, Spectre Scourge. Chris Santana, Spectre Scourge. That is something I can even run on my own account because, because I do have uh, Spectres there. All right. Oh no! What? How did I choose this spot? Oh fuck! Eh. Oops. Almost swore. Uh, I'm in a bad position now because I just activated a hangar that I didn't want to use, and there's a Shock Train Spectre right behind me. Well, I don't know what I can do now. The Shock Train Spectre is pretty much a one-hit kill to me. Now he comes. Here he comes. Okay. Well, I guess I got you now, dude. Alright, let's fire empty the weapons in the hopes that we might be able to use it again, which means 10 seconds of reload. I'm not sure if we got that much time, guys. Uh, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to have this much time. I want to fire, come on. Are we gonna get him? Yeah, nice. Uh oh, that's a... Ten second reload. He just dashed. There is a chance we could maybe out brawl him, but we have so much reload on the clock. I don't think we can do it, guys. I don't think we can. No, no way. I would have had to fire much sooner. I would have had to cut him off before he got to this position and it all wouldn't work. So what do we got here now? Something with 300 meters range and I've got more. So... Let's see what he does. I think he's probably thinking this is a weak bot. It's the first place, this guy. So now you're... Oh, wow. Now you use both stealth. Da don't, both dashes. That's it for you, man. He just used both of his dashes. Hopefully he doesn't spawn right in front of me here. Enemy four. Okay. So far we seem to be we seem to be good. Ah, almost. Wow, three people just died simultaneously. Did you see what just happened? There was three guys and they all they all just died at the exact same second. Wow, that is crazy. Oh man, we're taking a lot of damage. Got the kill though, nice. Is it him? Did he just hit me so much? Boom, boom. Did you see the quick switch? Awesome, it worked, nice. The quick switch to like 90 degrees to the right worked perfectly well there. I'm not, I'm not using my healing yet because Oh, we have a donation. We had more donations that I need to read. Hold on a second, Mohammed. Mohammed do donated five dollars eighty-four and another five dollars eighty-four. Are you are you in Germany now? He's asking. Uh, yeah, that's where I am, dude. Uh, and uh, thanks for your ten dollars, my friend. Much appreciated, bro. Get that kill. Get that kill. Get that kill. Come on. No. Uh, I just activated my healing, but there is a slight delay. All right, I didn't get that kill. Uh, and I'm not sure if I can get him there quick enough. Ah, flicking heck. There you got killed. Uh, and also we have Line Maniac. Line Maniac, uh, who also donated um, $10. Thank you, my friend, Mensch. That's so awesome. Thank you so much. Much appreciated, bros. Can't believe how much luck I have today with you guys. So much donations coming in. Even though the donation goal is already filled, 
You guys are still being so generous to me. That is so awesome. I love you guys for it. <laughs> Can't say it any other way. What do you got over there? Level uh, 600 meters range, dude. Okay, that's Scourge. So there you go. Got him. With a Taran Haichi. Something you don't see too often anymore. I only got 7 kills so far. Plasma Buck. Interesting. <clears throat> Dealing some damage to him right there. Counter corner shooting. Yeah, he's coming now. Oh, he just got a, hit, a big hit from the, from the back. Nice, I got him. And this guy has Shock Train. The only way I know to make him miss would be to dash through him. But, uh... So he loses his targeting, but it didn't work. He dashed backwards. That would be the only way I know of that would help me defeat him. Also, Jake Herworth, her birth, donated five dollars through Super Chat as well, man. Thank you so much. That was an hour ago, though. Been a while since I saw this, huh? So he's gonna dash now, and he got me with a lame train. Oh man. So he's got a good countdown here on the uh, on his dash, I think. Hit him pretty good there. Boom! Bye bye! Shock train, spec uh, shock train, Bulgazari. Always a pleasure, pal. Always a pleasure. Now we have. Oh no. Wow. Look what he comes with. He's gonna counter me now with the. with the. with the Komiho. That, there's pretty much no chance for me to hit this thing with Vortex. He chose a bot that is pretty much Im impossible to kill by this weapon. See? Pretty much impossible to deal any point of damage to him. But we're killing him. We're actually dealing damage. Bye bye! Yes! I waited for him to fall down. When he fell down there, he had no way to do it. Oh my god, that was so epic. That was so epic. Normally, you don't get to kill a bull, a Kumiho. And uh, if it, I, I mean, I don't want to be uh, so, sound like a jerk, but if I had played that Kumiho, I would have never died to this Vortex. Never in the world. Um, but it, it's just, you know, this weapon is, this spot is pretty much the hard counter to it. Wow, I'm surprised he's still getting me with these shots. And now he's down there, he fell down. And now he has to walk down underneath the, the thing. He has to hide. <laughs> Alright. Happy hiding.
Wow, there was a third guy. I was really taking my time because I knew I was going to easily kill them. I knew there was going to be no problem killing them at all. I took all the time in the world to this for this one. And the result is he took it. He snuck the kill, man. Holy moly. Now I'm at now I'm at zero kills. Wonderful. All right, I want to get him, but he's gonna stealth jump in a few seconds again. I got it, nice. So, still in stealth. He's gonna target me now, but he he will die before he gets to kill me. I hope. Yep, nice. Woo, that was close. Two kills. Wow, nice. <laughs> Let's shake it off. That was a bad beginning. We didn't get the kills that we deserve. Uh-oh. It's a shock train, I believe. And another shock train. Uh, zero skill required for this one. And another... Oh, come on, man. Oh, the shock train is so lame. Just a weapon that hits you no matter where you go. You get a direct full hit right in... Uh, right in there oh my god dude I can't walk away from this guy I can't walk away from the shock train dude behind me the other guy's gonna kill me now in a second and there it is I did never in my life expect him to walk into the open map into the middle of the open map to counter my movement in a way that makes it impossible for me to get out of this without dying. Boom, there you go, taking ridiculous amounts of damage immediately. So there you go. Jesus Christ, and I spawned again and he got me immediately again. He focused me 100%. <clears throat> All right, I got it. I got two kills very quickly now. Now I need to hide because these guys are gonna pay. You know, they want to get their redemption. No, what's it called? Revenge. That's what it is. Yeah, right. Revenge, like the challenge that we had. Freaking shock trains driving me nuts in this game. I hate the shock train. Did I ever mention I hate the shock train? I feel like I did. So let's see what this is. It might be an orc inspector or something. I don't know. Yup, it is an Orc Inspector. And now he lost. He just got killed. Because he messed up his jump. Boom. Bye bye, Orc Inspector. I did not... I think he probably felt pretty safe attacking the, uh, the, the Raven here with Death Button uh, with his robot. But that safety is not real. All right, whatever this is, it's an it's an Haichi with um, with Tarans apparently.
Boom. Kill. <laughs> What an interesting last round, ladies and gentlemen. I'm really glad we had this live stream today because it was absolute awesomeness. And Brent Walsh donated another $10 saying, what a great stream, Manny. Thank you so much that you say that. It really means a lot to me. Because um, I also think that we had really just constant good mood today and just absolute fun with these different setup. Fatality, Coben Guara, uh, Guadama said. That's right, fatality. Manny, great job. Thanks, Random. So, um... Yeah, I, I'm gonna, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna read every name of those who subscribe, uh, who did a, a donation today. Because you guys are seriously the best. I am Yellow Snow. <laughs> I don't want to eat you, my friend. Um, <laughs> Sar Sarba, Sar Sarab, uh, Sarab, I think. Um, Bran Walsh, Charlie 2, Drunken Escobar, uh, Cash Room, Random, Ranil R Rinaldi Studio Press. Jason Garcia, Mohammed and uh, Mohammed again, and then we had Jake Herber and Line Maniac and Bran Walsh again. Thank you guys so much. You're too kind to me. And uh, by the way, the 100k special is almost finished. Um, I'm maybe I want to release it at the weekend, so or maybe on Friday. So I can't say exactly when it will come, but I'm trying to find a good time where it has a lot of viewing potential right off the bat. With you guys okay and uh yeah it will be a big giveaway as well with 200 robots okay so uh shout out please dj soul rock 11 sure dude all right man thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video or live stream then leave a like and comment down below and if you haven't already hit subscribe as brutal as a man can it for more thanks for bearing with me you guys are awesome as always money gaming signing off bye bye